Hey, no, Nasi's got to be close. Y'all, y'all just going. Yeah, you're, you're not new. No, to no, this, this is <laughs> this is what we do. This is what we do. You know what time it is when you hit them horns. Now I want to welcome you to the corner convo yes, episode indeed. fifty-seven. Is that right? I think so. Today we're gonna make it to A corner, like thousands of others across the country. It's a place to go if you want to be seen, and to a lot of folks, it's the information center of the neighborhood. Our job is to spark Does somebody go. else watching us. We, oh, we might no. not be the ones, but let's not be selfish, and because we're not going to change the world, let's not talk about how we should. The mug is in the bag, and the bag is the base, and the base never changed. It's a groove. As soon as you hear that groove, never get tired. I know I got you. Right. Never get tired of this beat. I want to welcome you out to the Corner Combo. I will be your host for the evening, morning, afternoon. My name is A-M-O-N. Say what you want, just spell my name right, you heard? I'm one of the baddest motherfuckers of all time. One of the best singers, one of the best looking motherfuckers you've ever seen. <laughs> next ahead, up, ahead, ahead, next up, on. get your shit off, get your shit off. <laughs> I just now realized how ridiculous that is. No, because those are all facts and truths. What the fuck you mean? Look at me, man. Uh, next up, man. Look at me. <laughs> we got my boy, man. A B A to the B. What up? What up? What up? Time you got to do certain shit. It's just enough that people know in country that you know I go where I need to go to get it done. If you push my button, there's no telling what I may do. Stabbing, choking, biting. I mean, whatever it takes to make a motherfucker stop me. Existing, I would do that. I would just do that. Y'all better believe that boy when he say that. Now look, <laughs> guess what? We actually got some rose petals for King nah. Joffrey Jofar. <laughs> Let me bring this on down, man. <laughs> ladies, ladies, bring the roses. <laughs> now on, you will refer to me as the African genius. <laughs> <laughs> Now on, you refer to me as the African genius. <laughs> African genius. <laughs> so that sure won't go over well, bro. Not at all. But it's, it's, what that's you mean be it won't go over well? Uh, name will finish. Man, please. Okay, just don't trust me. You think Meg Thee Stallion will choose you over me? Hey, no, check this out. She should if she's smart. She should. I, I, I need y'all to be quiet real quick. Hold on. This, this is funny. Coach, what's up, man? We're live right now. What's going on, brother? <laughs> oh, I didn't know you were live. Ready, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Coast just come on, come on, man. We're, we're here. Coast, hurry up, get in the building, man. We're here. No, you ain't got to hurry. <laughs> we just started. <laughs> All right. All right. For sure. All right, get off my line, man. I got to go. <laughs> All right, that was, that was he weird. Should, he should flame your ass and give for that, for that Wait, one so, piece right there. Two words. Yeah, yeah. Who goes? Yep. It's all good. It's all good. Yo. Uh, how was your week, sir? Damn, already? You know what? The best thing I did, man, uh... Did my daughter's trunk party That shit was kind of dope You know what I mean Sending her off to Milligan You know what Shout I mean? out Kennedy Yeah yeah whole, whole bunch of money You know we go with the money What that scholarship looking like Oh it was a lot Yeah it was yeah. a lot So you you, So you, you you holding your pockets You good I keep those Okay Yeah Okay. Yeah. Did you get emotional dog Nah Thinking about it Nah nah You nah. gonna save it for you that send off You know what I, I did I did some real grown shit man And you know I'll tell y'all off mic But I had a moment of clarity And it was it was cool, man. I'll just so say it was. I'm gonna say some random. I had a moment of clarity it. because it because, cool. <laughs> because it's a long story. But just know that your boy is grown and a lot of shit don't even bother me no more. Good, okay, man. you know what I'm saying. We talking about parenting. We talking about yeah, as a father. Yeah, yeah, as a father. You know okay. what I mean. And people people in the building. You know what I mean. It's just like all right, cool. It's, it's all good. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, as a, as a parent, you shouldn't hold any hate or, or dismay for uh, another parent. You know, especially when you're co-parenting oh, situations you're like that. You know what I mean? Like everybody should be able to cohabitate and co-mingle. You know what I mean? And and it just be good. You know for what? The kids, man. That's a really interesting thing, man. We haven't had that conversation yet. We definitely need to have the co-parent. Yeah. You know, when when you are when you're in a relationship with somebody who has a co-parent, whether that co-parent is active, non-active, like that's a really important conversation in our community. We got to talk about that. Well, once yeah. you stop growing, though, in life, once you stop growing, bro, you might as well be dead. So exactly. good. That growth exactly. is, is acceptable. You need it. He said, once you stop growing, you, you might as well, well be, be dead. dead. No, that's a real thing. I That's used a real to thing. say, uh, I used to say, life will happen with or without your consent. If you don't like it, die. Those are bad. <laughs> <laughs> those are bad like those are your options. Yeah. Life gonna happen with or without you your permission. Shit, man. You, you don't it. like it, die. Oh, you know what? You know what's crazy, man. Uh, we have a lot of people in the building. A lot, a lot of people gonna be coming through. Um, Important as, as, too. as God would have it, this is no jokes, no games. My brother don't even talk to me no more, right? And he's in the building. He he, he decided that he's no longer affiliated with me. <laughs> he sent, he sent me his long drawn out text No bullshit And basically said I don't fuck with you Alright 
<laughs> have a great life. This was this week. <laughs> no, this was months ago. Like, this is the first time I he seen said, him. Have a great life. Have a great life. Man, he's a fucking dirtbag. But, you know what I mean? He just happened to be outside. Like, that's, that's bro. All right, come on. We shook up. Now he's here. Having a drink, celebrating with me. Good to see you, kids. Shout out, man. Shout out. No, yeah, we got we to go ahead and get into that, man. So we, yes, are, um, we are live, actually. We're, we're shooting a live event. This is the first of a monthly series that we will be doing here at 16th Street Bar, right? So number one, let's clap it up for 16th Street Bar, man. Like, they reached out. They reached out. They were very, very, very adamant about, look, we want to make this work. We definitely want to work with y'all. Um, and uh, they've been doing everything to make sure that it's full service. I mean, everything is beautiful here. So um, we will be shooting here once a month live. So you will have an opportunity to come, sit in the audience as we have some folks here. Um, I'm excited, man. Yeah, yeah you I'm should, excited, yeah. man. This is like, um, feels like official now. It is. Feels like we're real. Yeah, you get LLC and shit going. You know what I mean? We did, yeah, we, did. we did. Yeah, that. we filed paperwork. Yeah, you feel like a boss right now. Don't I, you do. Yeah. <laughs> I do. Yeah, I do. I do. Yeah. As long, um, as long as we do, dog. You, you put it in the process a long time ago. A long time ago, dog. It's, it's steady growing. The word today is growth. Obviously. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Word today is growing. So here we is. Well, how how was your uh, your week, Ken Day? Or man, Charlie, listen. I hate this dude week. <laughs> Every week you know what's funny? Y'all give me so much flack every week that I just stop taking pictures and recording it. Cause I don't want I'm like I'm, I'm tired of y'all Hollering at me About having great weekends Like I wanna be like What Steve Harvey said I just I wanna, wanna have, like have Wonderful some weekends. weekends Don't quote anything From Steve Harvey though No I wanna have Wonderful weekends <laughs> no. I'm going skydiving I'm gonna do all of that Um no, man, it was a wonderful weekend, man. We had, uh, obviously, black boat scene was this weekend. If you know anybody who has a boat and they black, they was out there, I promise you. Um, thankfully, everybody, at least from what I know, made it home safe. Um, but it's just, it's just good to see us be able to have a space where we can kick it at that level and, mm -hmm. and it not be no smoke. It was what? How many people was in, on them boats, you think, this weekend? Who are you talking to? Like, total. I know some people was here. Oh, okay. Oh, some people was down. Oh, they not trying to tell themselves though. It was about thirty-five boats, right on each boat. Right, we talking about people going back and forth to each other boats. wasn't no fights, wasn't no skirmishes, wasn't nobody trying to beef, wasn't none of that, man. Um, so, um, but yeah, I spent all weekend on the boat, man. Shout out to my brother Negus. Love that brother. He's been teaching me how to drive the pause. He's been teaching me. <laughs> Whoa. He, yes, sir. Whoa. He, he, he's been building. teaching me how to wait a minute of a ship. Uh, <laughs> 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 Who? Um, but um, and it is, man. You learn. I'm learning, man. And it's like it's a lot of little small nuances, man. But the more comfortable I'm getting with it, you know, the more comfortable I'm getting two, two. going out to uh, going out on the sea, man. So it was great. I literally spent the last three days. My brother came in town. My sister came in town. Got to take them out on the boat. Enjoy. So it was great, man. I saw the one picture, up. and I'm looking like this woman looks. So familiar. He said, he said why so she look familiar. like you? Why she look like you, dog? And uh, my mom said, hey, dog, that's his sister. It should, it should hit me over the head, but I'm like, I'm not thinking about some, really some dude, while we was on the boat, he came from another boat. He sat down right now. I'm sitting over here on one edge. My sister's sitting here. He sat right next to my sister. I'm talking about walks past all the people and all the other places to sit down and like cropped up and crouched up and sat right next to my sister. Started a conversation about five minutes in. He goes, is this your lady? <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Now the truth is He just wanted to get that out the way Like I think he knew it wasn't my lady But he needed to be sure Right But we look like though. twins man Like if I got yeah. I respect the move though That was I respect the move Yeah he was uh, You That's know It's a, I, I it's a, it's a, it's a decent move, move. It's, it's a no, decent he, he move was, he, was, he, was, he did it classy He did yeah, it was he a decent was, move He wasn't the guy in the club That had that unfortunate Experience with That's me That's fucked up when that went It was down. a wide open shot It wasn't a step back top shelf back in 1980 bro For sure For sure you know what I'm saying but you, before we got into the, this, the old this school trash. is still old school. You still got to re re represent it. It's cool. It was no. a good move. It was it was a decent move. I ain't mad at it. I wouldn't okay. say nothing. Hey man, can we stop talking <laughs> about people hollering at my sister? Let's get to the show. <laughs> well, 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 how was your week, man? My week was not a week at all, bro. Was I, I had I woke up and started singing "Born at the Crossroads," and you know, uh, you finna die. This is for my homies. No, man, my vacation coming to an end, dog. Okay. <laughs> okay, I show I show it, bro. <laughs> That's what's wrong <laughs> with you. When, when, when your job start calling you, and then your, your that shit your is trash, bro. I know, dog. When your old partner start calling you, you know it's time to go climb mm. back in, man. And then mm. I, I got word that within a month, they changed the hours back to some of the trashiest hours you could have. Back to 11 o'clock at night to like 8 the next morning. Why? Because of the festivals and stuff coming nah, out? Nah, man. Some crap about uh, crime happens when we change the shifts. Dear Mora. Oh, dear dear Mora. man. Let me tell dear you CBD. And we got a part two to that. I, dear I just CBD. Oh, we got some. Dear yeah. CBD, man. Once the criminals or whoever don't want to do right or whoever out here just on fuck shit. 
uh, figure out that we change our schedule again, guess what they're going to do? Change, change with it. Come on, fam. Yeah. It's not rocket yeah, science. Yeah, the streets yeah. adapt. That's <laughs> why it's not rocket it's science. It's not rocket man. science. Come on, man. I mean, nobody ever... Nobody ever um, uh, mistaked uh, mistaked. No. <laughs> yeah, whoa. nobody has ever you mistaken. That's, that's to me. I am a little tired. Okay. Uh, CPT officer for rocket science. It's, 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 it's not funny. <laughs> it's not funny. It's too long. Got it. All right, look, look, look. Mistaked so it. mistaked it with two of these. Let, let's it. just let's just get right into it, man. <laughs> mistaked it. Uh, so your boy Giannis got his first championship. He earned it. You should feel away because you have ties to Milwaukee. Definitely, man. Where are you at with that? I'll, are man. you claiming the Bucks? Claiming? No, I, I ain't going you that hard. I'm bucks. Chicago okay. all day. Okay. But um, I'm going to say this, bro, and y'all have heard me say this about Dame Lillard particularly, right? The fact that that brother said, I'm, I'm good enough to win a championship by, by myself. myself. Yeah. Did you believe him? I didn't hear him say it. I didn't know that until no, after that I, didn't believe it. <laughs> I didn't really know that. that I, I'm just saying the fact that he, he passed up the opportunity, that's a difficult decision well, to make. Honest, Do okay. I go make... 35 million more dollars at a bigger market like LA or New York and get all this attention and all of that and go play with some other major star or do I stay here and I build my own squad? If you think about it, bro, literally, I'm sorry. I know Drew Holiday had a good game here, there. Uh, uh, he what's did. his name? Had a couple of good games. But at the end of the day, he won that championship by himself. 50. He put that entire team on his back because when he was out of the game, when he was out of the game, uh, Phoenix was going up by 11, 12. He come back in the game, Milwaukee up seven. He won that championship by himself. I'm just proud that that brother said, I can do it by myself. And he I'm went hard. And he won. And he won. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm mad, Phoenix. Let y'all get that off, bro. Y'all can't get that off. Let me hear this hate. Y'all can't get that off, dog. Both of y'all have Phoenix. I swore I you did have Phoenix. I, I definitely have Phoenix. Javon Carter's gear, dog. I did. I did <laughs> I have Phoenix. You would, dog. Maywood's finest. Yeah. Shout out. And definitely. then Amon, you know, what up? Who, who's ever winning? Who's ever time? winning? Yeah, that's what mine go with. Yeah, I told point. you, motherfucker. My team went going now. back to Phoenix two two. What y'all say? I said no. Get your stuttering ass out of here. <laughs> Get your mumbling ass out of here. Yep. Then it was three two. <laughs> then it was four two. Now Giannis is this. Giannis is that. Man, fuck both them teams. Lakers Nation, bro. Ah. You knew it was going to come back there, right? Well, now we at Lake Nation. Yeah, well, 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 well right, you right. know what? That was good. That was good. That was <laughs> look good. At, Bobby, look, learn look, how to look, look, Yeah, I like that. Segue. So, so guys, fuck it. LeBron's a Billy now. How big is that? Pause. Like, yeah, it's about time to put on King, put himself on, man. He's he been putting himself on the whole time, dog. Yeah. I mean, people can say what they want about him on the court out of whatever bias or loyalty to Michael Jordan or just hate for the new age of athletes or him. Or his hairline, or whatever they fucking shit. <laughs> or his hairline. They make jokes about his hairline all the time, though. They know that you know. What Have saying? you seen his hairline? No. Mm -hmm. Neither has anybody else. <laughs> no, see, that's just trash. <laughs> he, hey, I gotta defend him now. He's a Laker. Yeah. I, I gotta defend him, dog. You already know that. So Lakers you're not body. a LeBron fan. You're a I Laker a fan. fan. I'm glad he came to the Lakers, though. I've been oh, a Laker fan okay. for years. Yeah. Years, man. All right. you, you can ask around. I guess. I, I guess because you I carry got, a gun, you can get away tickets. with that. No, I, I'm, yeah. go ahead. It's okay, no, man, that's love. So you, Joe. You're looking at me like it's a problem, though. Dog. Nah, yeah, because I was about to say something. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> no, I but, think, but check this out, though, man. It's only right. You know, eventually everything evolves. So eventually, an athlete will come along making the right moves in this max contract era, and when everything's a brand and brand himself, that he would get to that billion dollar mark while he was still playing the game. He wouldn't have to wait until he was uh, not active anymore. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm just glad. Uh, that he's a dark skinned brother for all you light skins out there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> dark skinned brother did that, you know what I'm saying? Is LeBron really considered a dark skinned yes. brother? Hell yeah. Oh, Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yes, Hell yeah. Nah. Yeah. They're the same I complexion. I've never seen bro. a meme One with him talking skins. about <laughs> Team Dark Skin, G. That ain't, that ain't a thing. Yeah, you got to be Wesley. You got to be Tay Diggs level that's of black to be Team Dark Skin. Darkness, though, right there. Right, but that's, <laughs> that's the point. West, that's other world darkness, bro. That's the point. You got to play a vampire himself. That's different. I mean, again, man, I'm going to shout out Michael Jordan. Because it's because of Mike that oh LeBron God. and Dwayne Wade there you go. Oh my and, God. There you go. and Patrick there you go. Mahomes go, sis, and all it. of these guys. Oh, nah. Think about it. Take that out. Think no, about no, it. No. Think about it. When when Barkley and them retired, when Jordan and retired, the only one in that era that got directly involved in team ownership was Mike, right? So he set the stage so that the LeBrons, the Patrick Mahomes, they, they're owning teams while they're still playing. He fast-forwarded that script. He opened that door. Now, am I happy for LeBron? Absolutely, man. I, I, I say it all the time. He is probably one of the best brothers we have in that realm for what he does for the community. He definitely outshines Mike in that way. Everybody knows that. His shoes are trash, right? though. I'm not so, yeah, he, should, he deserves his ability. He got, like, six different... I mean, he got so many extensions to his business, bro. Basketball is almost like his Saturday gig. I can't wait till we get, <laughs> I can't wait till we get 80, 90, and the kids are no longer talking about Michael Jordan. I'll be happy. I can, pack, I can die there. Hmm. 
You, 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 you come from a hurt place, yeah, yeah. man. I, I don't, I don't know. A real place, did your daddy man. never take you to like a Bulls game or <laughs> I did, did like? I thought the Bulls play the Knicks, dog, on Christmas Day. Man, that's bro. dope. Nope, no, it's trash. You got a serious and you, trauma, and you man. still feel that way? Yeah, that's you bad. Are trash, yeah, that's trash. Right, though. I believe in evolution, man. Let's move on. So look, I talked about, <laughs> <laughs> I talked about this young boy, man. He has been killing the internet on IG, like five point some million followers. We talked about him at that time going to an HBCU and how would that affect the high school hoopers now mike e williams is signed or has signed a multi-million dollar deal uh based on him what is it nil nil yeah, yeah. name image and likeness so yeah. at 16 who's going to handle him who's going to handle his money what does that do for him is he a target now i mean it's a lot it's a lot going on for six at 16 to oh, deal he's with that kind definitely of- a target um but and I would imagine that there's some clause in that in those kind of contracts with people that are under 18 that they have to have somebody else manage their you know manage these contracts or manage that account. I'm sure. Yeah, they have to. yeah, I would imagine so. Um, but again, we're talking about the same thing. We're but how do you stay focused at 16, knowing you got a milli on what the table? Mean, how you stay focused? I ain't got to do nothing else. Well, ah, you know what though? Ah. You took ah. it. If I was at 16, you know how much money at 16, I was making? I'm wilding though. I'm wilding. No, I'm not going not. to school no, no more. Not. You, you can't. You can't. You because that'll, 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 that's exactly what'll take that whole opportunity away from away you. From you, you now are that. in a place where you can't wild. Now, that may be the problem. You know, he may run into a situation where he wants to be a kid and have fun. We talk, We saw that with Naomi Osaka. She, if you haven't seen that documentary and, and on Netflix, wrong, bro, if you have not yeah, seen that documentary, documentary about Naomi yeah. Osaka, like that's what she talks about. The fact that she had to play tennis from when she was three. So by the time she got to the point where she had ideas, she wanted to go to the protest. Couldn't go. You can't right. have that kind of image, nope. right? You can't, you can't be involved. So she was like, I'm out. I'm finna take a break, right? So I think it's excellent, man. I think we need more and more and more and more and more to benefit from the, the, the businesses that we build as the talent. Got right, it. the fact that he doesn't have to wait for college to promise him four years of an education and a scholarship to go to Duke, so they can sell jerseys. But does so he still go to college? Tickets. Though I got, I got the meal. Why am I going to school? Yeah, you go to school. Yeah, because you because you want a big brain, and and that helps you use that money better. And you ha- and you can be you can start other businesses. If he's good enough, he's not going to college. He's gonna go straight to the. College. He don't go play in college. Done will be. It's over with next year, I believe. Right? Nah, man. Yeah, yeah no, the, yeah. it's out of there. The go to college. Done, so go to college. Bro. Do you do you think he's good enough? Uh, right now. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I don't know, but you can see the potential there. Yeah, but this is what I'm thinking about the name, image, and likeness right here deal. If he gets the money he has, it's really a uh, what you can earn deal. Right. You get some money now to sign with this this company or whoever he signed with, and because you are you seem profitable, you have potential to earn more in the future. Right. If you keep growing in popularity, like the followers he got on IG or Twitter, Twitter or whatever it is, he can earn more money. So he'll get paid more for his name, image, and likeness. He'll got get it. paid more. So if he wows out, like you were suggesting, bro, he's not making no money in the future. Yeah, yeah. Nobody's gonna want that. It. Yeah, got it. He yeah, might as well go to SoundCloud. Start the sponsors a state, gonna bro. bag out. The sponsors it, gonna bag Straight out. Up. Speaking yeah. of sponsors, you gonna wild out. Speaking of sponsors, <laughs> <laughs> How about that man. But yeah, Artie made a good point, man. You know, Mike, and you made a good point too, Amon. And you McKinney as well. He's been playing ball for Thank a long you. time, so it's starting to look normal. And I had to rethink what I just said. He may be ready for the pro because the game is going that way. Yeah, exactly. Smaller guard, you exactly. Know what I'm That's what I was going to say. He may be there. That's what you know I was going to say. Saying. The style of game we'll of NBA now is, is right. that style. Ain't no contact. You just got to be flow. You got to be able to dribble. I mean, what's his name? LaMelo Ball? I really honestly believe LaMelo would not have the type of success he's having now in he a 20 six, years ago. point guard, though. You know, LaMelo dope. Mm-hmm. Don't do I mean, he's nice. Six, but, the, but the style of game is different is all I'm saying. Okay. But, you know. the, the game changed. Anyway, man, the I, NBA I is not our sponsor. LeBron wouldn't be there. The NBA is not our sponsor. <laughs> we do have actual sponsors yes, that we want to make sure that we pay proper tribute to. Um, we already talked about 16th Street uh, Bar, which is our official sponsor for the live series. Um, but we also have Libations by Lisa, uh, who has these wonderful cocktails. I'm going to have to read them because it's like way too many uh, delicious ingredients. Uh, uh, ingredients. <laughs> So we have the Manhattan here, the Manhattan. Yeah. And in the Manhattan, we have rye whiskey, sweet vermouth, and bitters. Mm. What, what, Lisa, what kind of whiskey did you use? Uh, Templeton Top shelf. Rye. Yeah, Templeton Top shelf. Rye. This Tem- is Templeton, Templeton Rye. Yeah. Then we have Pain A to B. Up. It's pink as hell. And it's tasty. I think shit. that's hilarious, by <laughs> the way. Like, the fact that you got the pink flamingo looking joint, bro, I think that's hysterical. <laughs> <laughs> we have a vodka. What kind of vodka did we, we, did we use in this one? It wasn't Pinnacle. It should have been Pinnacle. <laughs> the, only, the only look out. It's vodka. Yeah, yeah, it's vodka. 
Oh, she, hey, she hooked it up. She hooked it up. There you she go. don't even want to say pinnacle out loud. <laughs> uh, we have pomegranate. Mm. We have liqueur. Oh, pom- pomegranate liqueur. We made it too cranberry crazy. juice and lime. Nice, nice. Then we have the genius, of mm, course. The genius. And here we have London dry gin. Green tea, fresh lime juice, orange syrup, and ginger beer. Like, that's what I'm talking about. I feel like you that put right a, there is a real Yeah, drink. yeah, you put a little extra sauce on his shit. I don't really like yeah, that. And we have I, I one more. So. She put his down more than yeah. extra sauce. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she, I'm the. She, hey, hey, she gave us ours. She placed his down. Yeah. <laughs> <She> placed his. <laughs> <laughs> We have we have the Enrique Poppy, but that's we'll pause on that one until, until that uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when we see the Escalade pull up, we'll know exactly what time it is. Uh, so yeah, shout out to Libations by Lisa. Yo, Thank you so much. Appreciate yo. you. Appreciate you. Uh, she is not only a uh, she is not only the uh, sponsor for this particular show, but she is also the bar manager here at Sixteenth. She does events every week, so please, 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 please check come out, out what she got going. Come on, support. Who 16th. else we got, bro? Uh, we got all these catering. All yes, right. sir. You better put in the building. This, this there, brother, bro. this brother here, he will chef up whatever you want and put his own sauce on it, man. He's Inglewood's finest. Uh, when I tell you the man can cook, the man can cook. Yes, um, yes. We talking well, lamb chops, sh- shrimp, steaks. What did we have? Um, we had the salmon sliders, right? Salmon sliders. Tell man. me, tell me what was on the salmon sliders again. Except for the secret sauce, bro. Smoke gouda cheese, lettuce, tomato. Caribbean seasoned salmon. That's his way around telling you what he put on it. Now, what kind of salmon was it? Wild caught. You <laughs> say wild caught? Wild caught. Yeah, you snatched it out of Lake Michigan this morning. <laughs> 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 uh, no, that's what's up, man. Audie, that was fire, bro. Appreciate you, man. Too much, right. man. Hey, 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 he too. will come to your house and cook. So if you got a you got Definitely. a woman or you know, ladies, if you got a man you want to show out, he'll come through. Whatever you want, it it will get done. Yeah, he's a personal amazing. chef. What do you do with your crib for your birthday? Oh man, I called him. I said, man, I need a meal. He said, I'm on the way. Tell me what you want. So we had. Uh, his special mash, asparagus, big you, dumbass you shrimp, two, two different flavors of shrimp. Um, what am I missing? Steak. Oh, oh, my he favorite was 30, was was the Mexican corn. Spices, was it, was the Mexican corn? It was amazing. Thirty nine herbs and spices. KFC times three. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He did. Um, yeah. So, so, uh, who else? Shout out to we, got, we, uh, um, we have Tone. Tone is a very good friend of mine. I've known Tone for twenty plus years, man. Salute, Tone. Uh, Tone. Actually, we started way back in the day on on the collection shit, right? It's too funny, right? Way back yeah, in the yeah. day, bro. Is, uh, is this L E R S days? No, 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 no. Before uh, that, before that, right? Uh, but no, Tom's always been a good dude, man. He's uh, a former musician. He sang. He was signed. He's left that alone. Yeah, I'm gonna say that because I, look, I think, look, bro, he, 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 he hates that. Was like, he hates that. He hates what that. What's my career still going? Like you so, just killed this man's whole career. No, right he, he, he refuses to sing. He refuses to sing. No, he hates it. <laughs> But uh, now he's transitioned into this multimedia space. So shout out to multimedia. Yeah, if you uh, if you notice, I'm looking particularly sexy today because we have a 4K screen in front of us. So you know, if you're getting all those hot vibes, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's because it's because we have an excellent camera system set up here. Um, yeah. So yeah, big shout out to Tone, man. Much love. So yeah, look him up. We'll we'll make sure we yeah. do all that. For and sure. we look technologically also, advanced today. Oh no, we are man. Props are up, man. That's what you do when you get money, man. Uh, second, or actually, lastly, shout out to Swain, Jonathan Swain. I have to say the first and last name. Uh, yes. Kim Bark Beverage Shop. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. High Park, official sponsor of. Um, well, he's our official sponsor of the show, but also um, we are the official. I think we can announce this officially. I thought we was gonna now. wait. I thought we was gonna wait. Are we gonna wait? Yeah, we gonna wait. We gonna wait. We gonna wait. We gonna get that. Yeah. But anyway, shout out to all the sponsors. Shout out to all the people that show love. Um, yeah, we growing, man. We really excited. Uh, I got a, I got another quick hit, man. I want to talk about you as an uh, being an educator. Did you see that the city colleges are offering sixty free career training programs? I didn't see it necessarily, but I mean, it makes sense, right? Like one of the things I learned in college after I got kicked out <laughs> was was that I didn't know what I was there for. Right. I went to UIC because they gave me a scholarship and because I had a GPA, and my parents was like, "You supposed to go to college." But I had no idea what I wanted to study. So I was just there. And I immediately found out that I was going, I learned a lot about partying. Shout out to Negus one more time. Um, (laughs) And in some ways, I'm not, I'm not upset about that. Um, I, you know, I got an opportunity to meet a lot of the people that I'm working with today. Right. Um, And in the career that I have today. But 
what I learned after I got dropped, because, you know, I failed out. <laughs> um, I, I went to junior college. Right. And while I was at junior college, the whole party thing was whack. Right. It's mm -hmm. like it wasn't a big enough college. So you don't have that same pressure to be on the party scene in college. And I started really focusing on my studies. So, yeah, I think if I would have went the first two years and came out with an associate's and, and a mechanics license yeah. or or, you know, a, a, a C. What is it? CNA certificate, whatever. You Come have on, a uh, opportunity Gay, gay Lord Fokker You, you want to be a, you a, be a professor, CNA? Professor <laughs> what? That tops the list of thought jobs Every, uh, every year on social media, bro You're a thought, you're a thought jobber <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> It does, bro, I'm sorry I, I disagree with that I'm, CNA, I don't make these lists CNA is the first step in a very professional career in nursing But Some people don't get past that, though I'm just saying If I would have <laughs> been If I would have been 20 and, and had uh, a job And been able to make money My boy, right? I ain't gonna say his name because I don't know if he want his name out there. But my boy, who I, who also got kicked out before me, went to electrician school. Look at the company you. By keep. the time I graduated college, <laughs> five years later, he's running all of the operations for a, 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 a developer that builds like seventy story buildings in yeah. five different states, oh, right? Like, real. so yes, I think it's great that they offer these kids an opportunity to learn a trade to make money so that they can sustain themselves. At the end of the day, like we've been talking about. You graduate college with a degree, you still gonna go work at Montgomery Wards if that's all that's available. No, so if you have, trade, you have a trade, you have a trade, you have an opportunity set, you have set, yeah. to make your own money. This well, the name of the program is Future Ready, but go ahead. Though. This is why them taking these these trades out of high schools and shops out of high schools, bro, just kind of trash, man. You know what I'm saying? Kids will be in high school, learn these trades, and go to college and be able to have a, a, a heads up kind of on what they were doing. But I was looking at this list a mom put up, bro. Yeah, yeah. These are the and, top ten industries oh, hiring top 10 new hiring. college graduates. This list is trash. Go this ahead, run it. Down. All college graduates. Hey, all they college 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 made a good point. He said, "Hey, these jobs don't. A lot of these don't jobs pay. don't pay well. But just for hiring, though. So you got healthcare and nursing. Thoughts. Logistics <laughs> and warehouse. I don't know what that is. Uh, you, you push you push is. a forklift all day. That's <laughs> what probably, you do. That's no, what you do, bro. That brother just brought us the see. bag. Yeah, that's who that is. It is. It's money in it. Money in it. Sales." Trash. Dots. What does okay. that even? Yeah. Yeah. Engineering. I give him credit for that. Now that's a real one. Accounting, that's like, but that's like number seven on the list. <laughs> it don't even matter where it's, it's on this motherfucker, dog. Uh, accounting and finance, which also should be higher on the list. Like, how many people have graduated with business degrees? Human resources and recruiting. So you got snitches. That's a job. Yeah, the job police. Yeah, that's a job snitches. police. <laughs> you know, see what I'm saying? What are we doing here? Manufacturing. That what boy that? said, "If you were human resources, you a snitch." You customer service. <laughs> Dots. Yeah. Oh. Now, these jobs, I'm not disrespecting anybody, but we don't make these lists on social media every year. These lists come out, they have the number, the, the top 10 thought jobs you can do. I'm Trainers not, always there, cops always there. I'm not co signing any there, of that. Nurses is always there, uh, <laughs> customer service is always there. I'm not co signing any of those and things. And the last one, is, which is, I think it's funny, it's scientific and quality assurance. I don't, I don't know even know what that is. is. Yeah. Quality assurance is when you um, get a warranty with your product. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> number one, yeah. y'all look at number one podcast. Absolutely. Um, yeah, I don't. I, I just think it's good that kids have an opportunity to make some money, man. That's all I can give you. Hey, we capped it off. Yep. Yeah, that's cool. And speaking uh, of black, I saw Black Widow. Don't go see it. That's um, just trash. Yeah, no. I'm not into that Marvel shit, man. I, I just can't keep up with the different storylines. My thing is this. After I've seen you die 37 times <laughs> In all the movies And then the next movie come out And you still alive I, I lose I lose interest Not only bro. you alive But you're a, you're a child again So you're not Right Exactly You never, you never played with G.I. Joe's And He-Man and all that Like that wasn't a For a very you? short Limited time look, in my childhood look at the Absolutely thing. They had Battleship bro <laughs> right. had I, I definitely had Battleship That shit was trash I hated that shit Battleship, <laughs> battleship <laughs> was trash I didn't have Battleship I had um, <laughs> You saved my Battleship My grandmother But you don't know it's real my grandmother was a gambler. So I had poker, gin rummy, <laughs> I had uh, blackjack. Huh? I'm, I'm dead I'm, ass. I'm glad you won, man. She, my grandmother, love you, Grandma Dorothy, rest in peace. But I swear to God, my grandmother used to show up from California or fresh out of Vegas, sit me, my sister, and my little brother. My little brother was like four. Mm. She used to sit us at the table, give us 100 pennies each, and show us how to bet on poker. And then she would win all the pennies <laughs> and like point and laugh and, and like in your face. Like Grandma it's, Dorothy told me. You know how to play poker, right? Like a motherfucker. Yo, I know how to play pool. Like a motherfucker. You know why? I had a certain uncle. May he rest easily. May he rest gracefully. May he rest peacefully. We would go spend the night at his house on the weekends. My man would toot lines. No. Oh. And show us how to shoot behind our back. 
sit on the table every day. <laughs> to this day, we go, we go real into the family yeah. history today, boy. And me and my older brother, <laughs> me and my older brother, and my two cousins, man, we'll, be, we'll bust your ass in pool, though. In hey, you had to include that part just to tell us he taught you pool? <laughs> you could have kept that with man. Yeah, no, I didn't. That's too funny. <laughs> when, you, when you beating up kids like that, dog, with one hand, yeah, and, and, and you, on the, you in the clouds, and you holding a beer, bro. You Listen, good. man. You, are, you deserve them flowers. My yeah. grandmother, yeah, my those grandmother those facts. Facts. she was a 49ers fan, man. She used to call me when they played the Bears before the game. She would always set a bet. How much you want to bet today? I'm 11 years old, right? Like, grandma, I don't have money. Did you allow us at that time? I don't have money. I don't, I, like, I don't know what you want me to tell you. She, oh, no, no, no. T- tell your daddy to let you cut the grass. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. All right, grandma, let's bet $10. The game would be oh, over. She would call. The first thing she would do is just laugh in your face. Ah, I whooped you again. <laughs> ah, like she didn't have no, none of that like, oh, baby, it's just like, no. I, she collected her $10 is what I'm trying to get you to Tracks. understand. Accountability. Yeah, I ain't had time for G.I. Joe, bro. I was, I was learning to hustle. Damn. That's <laughs> fucked up. They killed your childhood. That's I, fucked no, up. I'm actually rather happy. I look, Grandma was my favorite. Hmm. All right, whatever. Uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> so Lane Tech hasn't changed their name from the Indians yet. Who right? cares? On the wall. On the wall. On the wall. And now I think it has to happen oh, because that? Cleveland, Cleveland has now changed their name. It's no longer the Indians. Um, what is it now? Yeah, the Cleveland Guardians. Guardians. Yeah. Here's here's my thing about that. They they feel like they're trying to stay in the right. Native American life together, bro. Well, what is going right? on? Leg, what is, what is wrong with you? You doing podcast Pilates? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you, man? <laughs> What's happening, bro? You got this is why this is why you don't go to the gym. This is why you don't go to the gym. That shit is stupid, yeah, bro. Um, no, I mean, I think I think what what's what's interesting is that they they're trying to do two things at once. One, it's obviously very racist to have a mascot that's Native American, like, and call them the Indians or the Redskins or anything. When they gonna, right? when they gonna make a team racist. called the Slaves? That's not a real thing. It should it's be. It's already out here. It's already. Yeah. <laughs> you want to have it, bro? You, you are, you are vouching. No, for I'm somebody. not. No, I'm saying it's, it's. It you missed, you missed. Yeah, over, it over, your, over your head. Over. The point your head. is, I think by them using the, fra- <laughs> the 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 term guardians, I think it's this idea that they were the native indigenous people of the country and that they were guarding the country and the land and the. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't know. You think that's a spinoff of Indians? It did like- yeah, I don't think they were. I think they're trying. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Well, they took off. They took off the Washington Redskins. Yeah, but they still call the Washington, Washington football, football team, team. <laughs> which is trash, <laughs> super trash. I mean, and I bet you they never changed it because it caught on. <laughs> it did. People are folks, used to saying it now. What, what, what are you it? doing? You got what? Man, what, what are you talking about, man? What? <laughs> what is wrong with you? Do, do we need to pause? Pause. No, y'all don't. Hey. Y'all don't. Hey, dude. But uh, no, we taking a break. We got to hear. Oh, knock it off. Knock <laughs> it off, man. I ain't never seen a podcast industry uh, uh, injury right, in my yo. life, bro. Nobody really cared about the Cleveland Indians, no way, bro. Let's let's start there. You know what I'm so saying? You, 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 you didn't, didn't care about the people that were offended. By you care about baseball? You so live I'm in Cleveland. absolutely with that. But what you can never take from me. It's Major League, bro. Yes, yes. I was Let's talk about it. Yes. Willie Mays, hey, Joe bro. Boo. <laughs> you know what I'm fuck you, Joe Boo. Fuck you, Joe Boo. You don't help me now. You fuck you. You have no marbles. <laughs> <laughs> you have no <laughs> marbles. Other than that, man, fuck Cleveland. That's yeah. Right. yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, Joe Kim said it best, man. Who, who goes to Cleveland on vacation? Exactly. <laughs> right. yeah, like, man, stop, bro. don't bring that bomb up, dog. I no, don't do that, man. Okay. The most, one of the most OC players in NBA history. So he busts your ass. My light skinned brother, I... brother Noah. He's a conscious brother too. I, I rock so with Joe Kim, here, man. Uh, I'm glad you flamed out. <laughs> what are your thoughts about the NFL Vax, vaccination? What is, uh, vaccination? Excuse me. Um, and <laughs> vaccination, and, and, yeah, vaccination, the vaccination up, pause. mandation without being mandated. It's right. terrible, dog. It's terrible. Wait, what? Man, so, so here. the players are mad that they're making them get the vaccination, right? I get it. You pay a bunch of money. You're getting paid a bunch of money. A lot of people come to see you. They want their people healthy, right? They don't want games canceled, right? They definitely don't want no games canceled, and it's, it it's, it's about the bag. So well, because yeah, if they if somebody if if Patrick Mahomes or you know uh, Tom, uh, Brady, Tom or Brady or somebody gets COVID, not only does that take out other players because you know you're in close proximity to your other star players when you a star player. Exactly. Right? So, y'all, y'all welcome to. Yeah. What? Y'all welcome for what? You sit next to a star. Oh wow. Yeah. See, uh, I did that. You so we I were that. saying. Um, <laughs> All right. Um, but yeah, no. I mean, I don't know, man. I I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's weird though It's weird It's not weird It's this Look Lollapalooza Just sent out the thing This week Saying 
if you if you're gonna be backstage, like you know, like I'm, I'm working with a stage over there, right? If you're gonna be backstage, Flex. you have to be vaccinated. You have to be vaccinated, or you have to take a test every day. And if you test positive, obviously you're the, the festival will be over Come by the time you clear. I got, I'm right. gonna get a car for you. Period. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Lay, lay me in division. I think that's the Everything. other part. I think that's the Let's other part. Get it. Is that yep. these mandatory vaccinations? I think are gonna push that line on people creating fake. Fake cards like they did okay. with insurance companies. Oh, true that. True that. Because I was, I took, I took at least three fake insurance cards to court on a <laughs> number of occasions. Whatever gets you off, man. Like I, mine yeah. had the perforated edges when I showed them. Like, bro, I just tore that out of what I made and printed That's at the crib. That's good work. That's good work. I think I called it SNR insurance. It was dope. Mm. Mm. You know what? But I'm, you want me to go, go ahead, dog? Go ahead. I got nothing to say. Go ahead, man. Joe. So the way the NFL did it was, was kind of weird, though. But you could see it, see it happening. They said, "Hey, if you miss a game due to COVID." And we can't reschedule it. Your team is automatically loses. Mm-hmm. That affects what your record, which affects what your playoff your position. Your money. You All can't that, sell you know tickets. So now the owners pushed and said, "Hey, you know, hey man, look here. If you're not vaccinated, you really can't be with the team." New England uh, fired one of their fucking assistants already. Really, really? Because they refuse. He's not, wow. he not getting vaccinated, bro. Wow. Well, you know what? Before we when we make the announcement, Build your neck club. Right? Because of what we're about to do in uh, in September. Um, it's going to be way too many people out there. So I'm definitely going to go get it. I wasn't with it because I think it's weird and it's stupid. And oh, I, so you're going to get vaxxed? No, I'm... Vax I'm, that I'm, thing I'm, up. I'm going to, I'm I'm going to go on, have a shot. Vax that thing <laughs> up. I'm going to go have a shot. You know what I mean? Put this bullshit in my body and see how my body reacts at the end of the fight. I mean, here's my other problem, though, man. And we, I said this... I think we said this on the first... Like, the first or second show we ever did, bro. During actual COVID and the whole lockdown. We knew... It was going to come again. Okay, now yeah, you know, now the COVID-19 is done. Now we, we finna be on that. this new What is it? What, what's the it, what they call it now? The Delta. You ain't got to go to yeah. uh, you ain't got to go to O'Hare or Midway to get it. And they say it like you. and if you notice all the news clips, bro, out of nowhere all of a sudden are about the Delta the Delta variant is growing. People are people are people with the vaccination are getting the Delta. So there's a part of this that I have a problem with because of how they program it to you, man, how we bro. find out about it, right? Yep. But uh I guess I mean I guess that's cool, man. If they I found out the school's not going to force us to get vaccinated. That's crazy. Let me let me let me ask y'all this though. How much money does it take or how much money do you have to even have? How much money do you have to have at your disposal? How many people do you have to have on your team to buy a motherfucking planet? Joe, when, when you sent us this, though. Uzi, Lil Uzi Vert is buying a fucking planet. I, I, What's I the value to, in that shit? I got to see it, bro. I, I got to see it the, as in the planet, dog. Who buys a fucking planet, bro? He do. He put a, he put hold a, on, a first stone of all. in the middle of his like, hole here, bro. Are you, are you, are you cashing out? Right here, bro. Yes. Hold on, hold on. First of all. A planet doesn't It doesn't have to be The size of like Jupiter my G Like Nah bro like, They said as big as Mars bro. It's, it's like four the, times yeah. The size of Jupiter yeah. It's four it's times bro. The size of Jupiter A whole fucking planet In what galaxy I don't the Milky know Way. <laughs> The Milky Way No that's the know. galaxy We yeah. in If there was a planet Four times the size of Mars In the Milky Way galaxy It don't we matter We see it bro, It don't matter You got no, enough no, money I think it's four To times lease the Earth's moon. He's not leasing He's not leasing this He's not renting it He's buying a fucking Planet, hey, right. my, this is my question, Kenday. Hold on, hold on, hold wait, on. Wait, wait, wait. Did who's Jeff Bezos? Who's selling it to him? Who's selling it to him? Who's buying this planet from? Who owns the planet? You know what I'm saying? Who's the original leaser? Oh, watch it. Who's the original? Uh, so, who's, who's the leaseholder? That's interesting. Wait, I didn't wait, think wait, about wait, that. Did you sell him this planet? Who's right, right, right. <laughs> Brent, what, see what I'm saying? Oh, she disappeared. Right, Sorry, though. No, I think um, I think it's great because Who again, put, how do you put, how do you price the planet? Exactly. How do you price this shit, bro? I mean, can't nobody live there right now. Apparently, he must have some secret, you know what I'm saying, oxygen information. I Brandy, how much does the planet cost? Yeah. Somebody's buying what's a, what's a Is it a seller's market right now on <laughs> planets? Are we in a buyer's market for planets? Is this the time to really get in the business? We asking Brandy because on her, she was on our show before, and she's, if not the top, one of the top real estate agents. But she has a Brandy Bell real estate. B-Doc, B-Doc. Know, if something's selling, she wouldn't know how to sell it. Yeah, that's is true. Is anybody trying to buy a planet from you? <laughs> <laughs> look, but look, Bezos just went to Mars, right? That was so funny, man. Yeah, that's he crazy. just went. Yeah, that whole that rocket so situation was hilarious. It was, man. Um, and um, um, isn't what's his name? Tesla homie. Building. Tesla homie's finna do that too, right? Yep. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, exactly. 
Uh, uh, it was a must. Eli, 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 Eli. So yeah, man. I, again, let these brothers in, man. We got to stop being behind. We got to be on the same level and above the curve. So Lil Uzi Vert, when you selling tickets to your planet, bro, holla at me. I'm with it. <laughs> hey, look, I'm with it. Do y'all remember when we talked about uh, was it Bezos, Jeff Bezos? Yeah, I think yeah. he's going crazy. How much he was worth? He's not going crazy. He just went to billion. Mars. No, no, no. This motherfucker is just on a tour of dropping 100 million in motherfuckers' accounts. Oh, for yeah, no yeah, reason. Yeah, right. So That's when not I not crazy? Yeah. No, 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 no. He, he skipped us. Yes, he skipped, he skipped us. us. Jeff, no, we Jeff. next. <laughs> we next. Look, he skipped look, us. Look, look a motherfucker up. Look, what I'm saying is, when you go on a board, first of all, you, you step down from your company six months ago. How much did he give his wife in a divorce? Who knows? Three, I think it was 30 bill. And he wasn't even hurt. No. So this is what I'm saying. Right. There's some other right. shit going on with him, bro. There's some other shit going on with him. Listen. You don't just drop a hundred million just random in I, people's I see accounts. Where you going, though. If you right? want your legacy he's, to mean he's, something, he's, no. He's, no, what he's, he's trying to do, he's help. trying to right some wrongs, which <laughs> got him to where he was at. I'm trying to tell you, you don't just drop a hundred million. What kind of? Oh, so you saying the people that he's paying his money to, he's he's a he's, he's not even affiliated with. Later. He's not even affiliated people with. So then how is that righting a wrong if you don't even have no relationship with these people? Because you're doing quote unquote right. It's like if I see you're doing a good thing, a good thing. If you if I see a bum. He needs some shoes. So you say he's shoes. working on his karma, is what you said. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with karma that. It's not even a real thing. Gotta dog. be. Knock it off. Ain't no, karma's a real thing. It's not a real thing. I bro. promise you. No, no, you can't make. You ever seen karma? What the fuck? I, I've, I've experienced karma. Mm. You don't believe in karma? No. Why not? Bro, why, Bossy don't why, why believe in blue. Like, you know what I'm why, saying? No, no, no. He believes no. He believes in blue. Somebody tell me. Please. Anyone? Anyone? Was number 45 an asshole? Sure. sure. Did, he do, did he do bad things? Sure. sure. What, what bad happened to him? How did he get his karma? That's it's an coming. interesting it's argument. Coming. How did he get his karma? It's coming. The examples are all around us. We, we won't know. That's an interesting argument, actually. I, I was ready to like shoot Bro, it down, no, but that's actually a, a quality of argument. You know, in your life that are winning, that absolutely fucking winning. Look at, look at, I knew he was going to no, love that. Look at, I knew he was going to love that. Amon Brothers. Amon Brothers. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> top, top notch asshole. If y'all think I'm an asshole, when y'all meet say, him, when y'all meet him, say, this is true. Number this one asshole. This is true. I, number one asshole. I approve this message. Yeah. yeah. Hilarious. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, I don't know, man. I think um, I think Karma it's dope, man. At the end of the day, exist. you know what's his name said that Buffett said that Warren Buffett said that he said when I go, I'm not leaving my kids none of this money. I'm giving all this money away to charity. That's cool. You know what I'm I saying? Like, I mean, you can't take it with you. Means you, take, you must hate yeah. his kids. No, yeah. they also already rich. He said, I want them to have an opportunity to build their own wealth. I don't want to give it to them. I want them to earn it. Make that sure was they're his, wealthy. His but I logic. also help a lot of people out too, though. Mm. You know, all right. with my pension. No, I won't. No, you won't. no, you won't. Am I, no, am I a no, beneficiary? No, Absolutely. I'm a beneficiary the genius, now? The genius brain got to live, bro. That's what's happening, bro. <laughs> My brother. The genius brain My has to brother. live. <laughs> he said the genius brain. Hey, look. Got that good police insurance, too, boy. I ain't never going to die. This, this week in black excellence, man, I saw something super, super dope. Uh, we have Imani Stanton, Jayla Jackson. Yes. They are the first black female duo to win the Harvard debate competition. Clap it up for them ladies, Clap it up, man. Clap it up, clap it up, clap it up, clap it up. I really want to know, we tried to research, I really want to know what the debate topic is. I love watching debates, bro. I love the great debaters. That was my shit, too. That was a movie. Yeah, yeah I love it. Trash. That, was yeah. Yeah. that was a movie made about debates. Well, y'all watch movies I'm about saying actual, debate, bro. real debates. Like, real? people actually debating, not the one where they write the script I debate with you every day. I debate with your ass every day. You don't debate, You do not People debating. Your, your your arguments don't qualify at the debate level. You you oh, you know wow. you argue. Oh. You have an argument. I'm just there. Yeah yeah. You represent your side, hmm. but you don't understand that this <laughs> is a formatted. There's a way to do this. You hmm. don't. You you're not there yet. It's okay though. We are no. gonna get you. Hmm. We are gonna get you that. But no, I think for real, I would love to hear what the debates were about. They went ten and zero. What'd you say, Brandon? Ten and zero. Ten and zero. Ten and zero. Like they white people clean, man. That's what's up. Yeah yeah. We 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 can think. <laughs> we can speak and we can debate. I mean, I'm a clear example of that. You are clear. Yeah. <laughs> It was fast too. I wasn't ready. Yeah, yeah, I, know. I wasn't I know. ready. Uh, oh, next, up, next, up, <laughs> next up, uh, in black excellence, the Obamas have a new animated show on Netflix. It's called uh, Ada Twist, The Scientist. It's about a little black girl who's a scientist and it's uh, an, an animation. It's dope as fuck. You know what I mean? Y'all y'all go support that. I love and that it's about science. Again, yeah. showing showing opportunities for our young people to see that they can excel at whatever they want. Uzi Vert buying a planet is an inspirational thing in the same it's regard. Science. You know what I'm saying? It's they listen to his raps. He talk about all this other space shuttle shit anyway. So... 
the fact that he these represent these these people are representing that for young people, I think is great. But yeah, man, Obamas they can't do no wrong, not in our community. Well, they ain't Mrs. Owe. Maybe bro. I shouldn't speak That's to right. everybody. That's they right. ain't Mrs. Owe, man. If the, if, if the White House had a credit score when it was uh, when Obama was there. <laughs> Seven eighty. If the White House had a credit score, score. Yeah, eight fifty. Eight fifty. How 850. did you arrive at that methodology? Right if the White House had a credit <laughs> right. score, Obama got swag. He got driven. He got everything. Anywho, the president after them, presidents after them or before them, didn't have. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I mean, now, he, now yeah. the credit score of the White House is about where? About four. Four ten. <laughs> For sure. About four ten. For something sure. like that. I just did credit repair. Got calm right now. Now I'm I'm really proud of those people. I don't know them personally, <laughs> but um, you don't. I don't. I'm, for, you, I, I'm actually surprised. You do know. You do know. I, I, I do live about six blocks from where his Chicago house is, Thanks. right? And the, can you the, go down the blocks yet? The closest. Still no, it's still blocked off. The That's closest wild. I ever got to meet Obama was he had his campaign office across the street from my crib, and I was coming home from work, and I, they wouldn't let me on my own block because he had whole barricade or the motorcade. You know what I'm saying? Taking had to, be, the had to be very humble. Uh, it was the cl- closest I got to Obama. But, I'll be uh, looking out for. Uh, Sorry, though, we gonna work together real soon, sir. Looking out for the cartoon series, man, just to watch it to give us some support. Yeah, yeah for sure. definitely. Period. Period. Where, where is it at? It's on Netflix. It's on Netflix. Okay. Netflix. Netflix. Uh, again, Ada Twist the Scientist. You know what I mean, it, it, it looks cool. It's got to be a meaning in that name too, though. I'm sure. Got to be. I'm sure. Um, let's just get right into the topics because I think I think uh, this one probably near and dear to a lot of people's hearts. Uh, you know, not you, you. You don't have a heart. You don't have a heart. You know? <laughs> <laughs> he boy. He was he, cold he, he was as ice. Which one didn't have a tin man? You yeah, a tin yeah, man? Yeah. yeah. I ain't the scarecrow. Of course I ain't got no <laughs> You definitely Damn. the cowardly lion. Oh, my no, God. Sir. oh yes, sir. Oh, sir. Yes, sir. Me? You Michael Jackson? I'm gonna be uh, I'm definitely I'm gonna be the wizard. You the wizard? I'm gonna be Oz. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the big brain. Oh, right. Right. Exactly. Yeah. The color is red. Like I'm, <laughs> oh, yeah. hey, hey, I ain't so, Michael Jackson. I know that. Was that movie any good though? The, the Oz? Wiz. The Wiz, I mean? Which one? The, 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 the Wiz? Uh, nobody, the we, not, we don't ever talk about The Wizard of Oz. We no. talk about The Wiz. No, The Wiz was dope. Yeah. Wiz the Wiz dope. was amazing. It was dope. All right. I've seen the Wiz. He's seen the Wiz. If you watch it today in 2021, is, is you can play dope? that soundtrack at a bar. Everybody know we, every word. We didn't say soundtrack. Every word. Let me, let me ask you this, though. How do you handle loving someone but needing to let them go so they can grow? There are several spaces you have to, you have to uh, view this in. Several lenses, excuse me, you have to view this in, you know. Your mind will automatically go to companionship. You know what I'm saying? People think about, they, they equate love to companionship. You know what I'm saying? And that's not love and, all the time. Hmm? That's not love all the time. That's not. It's, it's, it's Wait, you said people equate love to companionship. companionship. Uh, loving somebody, having to let them go, it's usually a relationship involved. It's the first thing coming to people's mind. A relationship okay. of some kind. In, in, oh, in right, 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 right. Sure, sure, sure. Why it makes like I was talking fucking. No, no, crazy, I was just bro. clarifying. So no, I you just want some clarity. I knew what you were talking about. I hate you, motherfuckers, man. That's fine. It's light skin thing. you too smart, too smart, brother, man. But. You know, sometimes people change, views change, and your goals in life change, you know what I'm saying? And it comes down to whether you admire the picture or the frame, when you're speaking of a person. You know what I'm saying? Whether you like the way they this look. This boy is on with inside, his, with his um, uh, metaphors of, today. Whether <laughs> you admire know. the picture or the frame. Man. Mm. What? Mm. Mm. <laughs> no, man. <laughs> but uh, and if you at a point where you love someone and have to let them go, number one podcast. You see y'all, we see y'all looking. Don't even worry about it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's you, the bar. That's brand Think about, oh, my bass. So if you at the point where you feel you have to let somebody go, you didn't wake up one morning and say, hey, you know what? We not working. You put thought into this. You've been thinking about it. It's been on your mind. It's been in the back of your mind at some point. point. And your relationship has probably suffered in some capacity. Sure. In what capacity, I don't know. In what areas, I don't know, man. But it's not specific. What's up now? Number one podcast, though, brother. <laughs> Number one podcast. Uh, it's not specific. You see, how, you see how he made eye contact with him? <laughs> hey, he said, hey, bro. Hey, listen here, sir. Wait, Number so, one podcast. So he got to call his ride right back and come around the corner. <laughs> 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 you, you basically kicked. You basically kicked him out. He scared the shit. He won't kill, bro. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> hey, what's that? <laughs> right, go, go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You got a shirt on that say genius. You good? Right, so, it's, it's not specific to relationships, though, man. Because you think about Look, <laughs> number one podcast. Hey, yeah. oh. so, hey y'all. Hey, everybody don't shut up. Right? I'm almost finished this year. Yes, whatever I'm trying yes, to say. Yes, yes. But uh, you know, you, you can equate it to parenting too, though, man. Because sometimes keep parents hold on to their kids too tight, mm. and you you uh you stop their growth. It can, it can be a thing between siblings as well. And I thought about that. You know, we're here. Oh, I'm like, got like you. Larry. Interesting. Jason wanted to take care of his, his fucked up brother so bad that was holding him back from being in love with uh Jada, Jada Pinky. You know yeah. what I'm saying? 
He had to, he had to let it go, man. And even when it comes down to friendships, dog, yeah. you, you got the kids in the hood or the suburbs who are, uh, it's, a, it's a bunch of them. And you got one that's really talented or two that's really talented trying to do right, but they see their friends being the cool kids or their friends are bad influences. Like, you know, come on, do this, come on, do that. But you got the talent to do something else, you know what I'm saying? You right. make it about and get to a dream, man. So, I mean, sometimes you got to leave, leave them up really behind and grow. I, I, I ain't going to lie, man. I did not. You're right. I thought of it in the first context that you said, like just in relationship, right? But like you say, when you talk about your friends, your brothers, your family, we all have people in our lives that we know, you know, need some help. And in some cases, facts, bro. The, the, the further you get to where you're trying to get in life, carrying that person with you can become detrimental to your own your success, own growth. Yeah. right? Yeah. Right. And so I, the, the reverse obviously fits. Um, actually, this is going to be a great conversation because this, this is the same thing we're going to talk about with bro, mm -hmm. right? Like, because there's also Ooh. that part with, there's also that part with, like when Kanye was coming up, right? There's a bunch of people in Chicago that were around, you know what I'm saying, every day with Kanye. They were right. a part of, before anybody knew who Kanye was, right? right? When Kanye moved to L.A., before good music, that turned into a whole thing, right, in Chicago. Everybody, man, Joe, he, 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 he faking out on us, man. He leaving the town. He, you know what I'm saying? He, he, going, he going Hollywood, right? right? But the reality is, if your, if your brother has an opportunity to go do what they want to do for a living at the highest for level sure. and you can't go with them, you're not supposed to hold them back. Nope. Right. Right? So, like, you definitely supposed to be like, man, go get yours. Hopefully, one day, we'll be able to work together. But it's also supposed to be a motivating factor for you to get your shit together. You can start from the bottom, but you ain't got to stay there. Yeah. I now, in the context of relationships, I will say this. That's harder because you know that like you said you've built certain memories you've built certain experiences you've built certain communication styles Facts. like you have the ability now to kind of feed off of each other in a different way and to say i'm i'm gonna step away from that and go try and find a whole new brand new it's not easy. situation is very difficult, easy, very difficult. Bro, but you gotta look at it sometimes too man the old folks always would say man life is a marathon you know what i'm saying and it's, you got relays you know what i'm saying it's, it's fucked up when the person you are with in the relationship context the person you're with Y'all begin running two different races at the same time. You will notice. Mm. You will notice the difference. That man's metaphors this one, this one are going too. crazy. He <laughs> yeah. said y'all yeah. running two different races at the yeah. same time. Stupid, yeah. man. What did you eat this morning? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, was, it was that salmon slaughter though. That's what it was. Shout, hey, out, shout out to Aldi. You no, know, the uh, fish is brain food. The omega threes. <laughs> he just okay. The omega three. No, no, that yeah, was all accurate. That's true. All accurate. <laughs> omega three. Hmm. I mean, when you're in different places <laughs> mentally with a person, you can't really grow with that person, right? That's true. So, I'm sure you probably mess with somebody in your early teens, early twenties. I don't mess. Right? <laughs> oh, you're, you're not messy. I don't mess. You don't mess. Buddy. You don't mess. You don't fuck around. Okay. None right. of that shit. Well, you Leo, dealt. You, you dealt with a I don't woman. Trick off. I don't. None what? of those things. You, oh, you definitely trick. You what? definitely no, trick no, no, no. Uh, no, you you You've dealt with a, a person, right? Yes. In your early twenties. You're not the same person you were now in your late big, 30s, big right? Facts. So you're big facts. You're, you're different. Your maturity level is different. Big facts. So yeah. I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. And you may not want it to let go, but you have to let go for growth. You have to. I mean, but again, you're talking about how that timing. We're not saying that that's untrue. That's a part, though. Right? Yeah. We understand that that's the right. case. The question is, what's that timing like, right? You know, if you're in a situation where you have um, mutual assets, right? You you both own a home or um, or or just property in general, like you know what I mean. The the timing can be difficult because you still have to factor that in too. Like if we're gonna if we're gonna step away, we need to also have that conversation, right? Who's taking what? But we're not having what? that conversation because if you, if you separate, you, you checked out mentally already. Yeah, right? I've already checked out, so I'm not even expecting it's to dead, to dead, run dead, into dead, you dead, ten dead, years dead. later. Do you ever? Okay, real talk, real talk. Do you ever fully check out of a, a mentally, as you say, of a relationship with somebody you really loved? Like, do you ever like fully, does it ever just fully go completely away? It, it and you just like, how, you hit the pause button, bro. Well, you, you think about having memories and stuff like that. I'm yeah, saying yeah, like, yeah, if you, you really love something. somebody, you, you don't ever stop thinking about that person in some kind of way positive. I'm not saying you seek that person out. I'm not saying you- I think you said forgetting instead of checking out, but it's a difference to okay. me. You okay, You know what I'm saying? You never forget them people. Right. You know, if somebody comes to your life, and you completely forget about them. Yeah, they, they were there. It was purposeless, bro. They were there for a season, not a reason. Not a reason. Okay. Hmm. There you go. What if you cold as ice and you don't really give a fuck about nobody? Cold as ice. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, those are, those are real things. I mean, how do you, the answer to that question is obvious. Yeah, you were never in a relationship in the first yeah, place. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You weren't hmm. there. You were just doing something. Okay. Yeah, that, that, that's a big no, difference. No, I think, again, I think the most... One podcast, the, Karen. The, the, <laughs> Karen. <laughs> 
Shout out to Karen. Two things. One, the fact that there's actually a Karen here is even more funny because I thought you was talking about right. <laughs> The, the urban urban Karen. Yeah. Real quick though, actually, this this is this is actually a good question for the room. What do y'all think? So like, if you when you're at that moment where you have to, you know, separate from somebody you really rock with, what's the difficulty for you? Particularly, I guess the ladies. We always up here as men talking this shit. We don't ever really ask ladies. What do you think? Is it like what's the what's the most difficult part? Is it the connection to the person? Is it the situation? Is it the comfortability? Is it the actual? Is it the, is it the bedroom? Is it the dick? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, let's, let's be honest out here. Yeah. All of the above. Yeah, it depends on Everybody serves a different purpose at a different time. Yeah. Everybody serves a different purpose Whoa. at a different so time. Heard different purposes in different times. You hear, you heard depends on the person. Go ahead. It depends on the person. Person. And like this person might you might like this person for this reason. I'm talking about you. Really? Oh, so some difficulty could be if he if he got the paper or she got the paper so and they hold down, down all the finances. Then. Yes. That's that's, That's fucked, fucked up. up. Y'all are like, y'all are trash. <laughs> what is going on, on, man? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did you see how they both hit the same? Like, oh, that shit is trash, bro. Excuse me. <laughs> That's true. Well, it's yes. the initial benefit yes, for companionship and not like the job, the pension. Talking to the, the microphone, fun. boss. Sorry. Talking to the microphone. Yes. Say it again. So what y'all can't hear is that. The, the statement was you get into a relationship because for the benefit. So one of the benefits might be this person okay. is really nice. This person is, you know, financially well off. They this person, they can put you on their health insurance, <laughs> their health insurance right? <laughs> um, definitely, definitely, right? Um, you know, maybe one of them has a successful podcast and, you know, it's really, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like these are the benefits that, that, that you get into it for. Right, exactly. So exactly. What, I, what I'm actually hearing is each and every woman in the building and you guys have a, a starting five. You have a guy for maybe every day of the week if you wanted to. And, and, if you want to, dreams. it's only four. Uh, what, what, hey, what it sounds like though? Whoa, whoa, whoa. you're saying that, that women have four different types of dudes in their life all the time. When do y'all take a break? Damn, you said it like you running the squad. Like you said it like Phil Jackson, right? And you was like, no, the roster got cut down to four. Like we don't do five hey, no more. You wonder why? You wonder why some women are upset out here? Because what I just heard was. Y'all know the story of Frankenstein, right? Hey, man, talk to the together. microphone, sir. <laughs> he was put together with several different parts, okay? Right. Several different parts. So y'all looking for a Frankenstein man, and that motherfucker don't exist. If that was possible, yeah. He don't exist. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. hey. I'm just going to say, a bossy, the closest thing to a Frankenstein I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, that's crazy. Hey, hey Q, 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 Q in the building, man. Q Bill in the building. Hey, shout out to Q. What up, Q? Q Bill in the building. Safe. Now, hey. we got a lot of dope people. We're going to go ahead and do that real quick before we start this break because we're going to bring our guest up shortly. But um, we already shouted out Brandy. Good to see you, Karen. Audi up in the building. I don't even know you ladies, but hello, y'all. Linda Bill, what's here. happening? What's happening? Q Bill is in the building. Tony, Tony Nigga from, Johnson. From, um, what about? Oh, from Tony Gibson. She was on the map. show a while back. Uh, we got. I don't know people. Do y'all want me to say y'all's names? I don't want nobody. You know, I don't put nobody on blast <laughs> out there. You know what I'm saying? Crystal all the way in the back. Hi, right, you might I see be, you. I, What's up, love? You. I don't want one of your three other men to find out where you was at on Monday. <laughs> right. <laughs> Keisha in the building, especially not the one that's rich. I, I don't want that one to find out. <laughs> it's a lot, a lot of faces, a lot of names in the building, yeah. man. It's a 16th Street Bar once again. No, y'all no. see where it's at? Definitely, oh, definitely. Wait, wait. There's so many women in the building. I have to ask this question. Ladies, 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 I need y'all to pay attention to this real quick. Did we run out of line, Lisa? We, we ran out of line. Is it okay for a man to cry in front of a woman? <sighs> Is it okay for you a see, man to, to cry? Bro. Wait, 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 wait. wait, 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 wait. Q. <laughs> Is, Is it okay? Mike, Mike. <laughs> Is, it okay? Is it okay for a man to cry? Is it okay? Is it ever okay? For a man to is it ever okay <laughs> again <laughs> again right? for a man to cry in front of a woman? Okay, okay, okay. What did you say? I asked the man first though, because yeah, yeah, they're yeah. so outnumbered. What circumstances? All he's speaking now. What circumstances is that? Oh, okay. so if it's like a oh, well, no, a grievance, okay. If it's a deep. <laughs> So if it's a deep, he said if you lost your mom. So like if you if it's something, okay. So let's let's exclude let's exclude tragedy. Let's exclude tragedy. Okay. All right. This is this is Sue Bill speaking now, y'all. I think I think women are are chiming in saying it's okay for a man to cry because they cry a lot. I don't know women that cry a lot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Q, hey, hey, literally, 
what you said, though, bro. Hey, Repeat what you said. I wish y'all could see this. I wish y'all could see this. The collective, the collective deep breath that all the women took at the same time and looked at you, bro. That was dangerous. <laughs> that was dangerous. You, you said when you lose somebody, right? In my head, only time I ever cried is when you know this team of man. I ain't gonna say it, but. <laughs> <laughs> You've only cried one time your whole life, or in front of a woman. Okay. He stubbed his toe. He stubbed his toe. He stubbed his toe off the corner of the bed. <laughs> Leave our crib. Q Billa doesn't cry anymore. Okay? Yeah. Just yeah. So y'all know, he doesn't when, cry anymore. When Q cries, <laughs> I cry. That's day and night. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. So, so, okay, wait. So wait. Hold so on, bring it down, bring it down, bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. Hold on, hold on, hold on. One, so, one, one time, people, one time, one time. Okay, so listen. This is, this is my perspective on it, right? I think that it is okay to cry in, from a, in front of a woman and not feel a certain kind of way about it, right? But let me say this. It is certainly not something you want to do. <laughs> it is not, it was not something you like, you go after. You dig what I'm saying? Because there's just, listen, listen, let's just be a hundred, man. I know this is going to sound a little bit misogynistic. I'm sorry. This is how I was raised. Sorry, dad. But, <laughs> but. Baba Shango. There's, <laughs> Baba. Baba Shango. You remember the rest? Anyway. No, I um, don't. I don't. <laughs> The, the issue is this What men are truly afraid of And fearful of In this process Is that if I cry in front of you Over something kind of emotionally it's, it's gonna soft happen. It's gonna happen bro Like not my homeboy got shot Not you know what I'm saying My mom and them dad But just like My feelings are hurt today Right there's no way that if a year later y'all break up that she's not gonna throw that at you, Weaponize bro. That shit. You're not. You're not. Huh? Feel like what? I do. Fuck it. I cry. I've, 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 let me be clear. I have cried. I'm okay. Just not in front of her. <laughs> No, okay. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. No, you, I think you know. I think a man a man will cry in front of a woman if he's vulnerable to that woman. Hey, so wait, right? wait, wait. Do and, men and, cry in front of their boys though? Huh? Do men cry in front of their boys? No. Do men cry in front of their boys? No. no. You said men cry when they lie. Men cry when they lie. Oh, well, so crying. Oh, oh. Man is this? So, so, so if a man cries in front of you, it's because he's trying to cover up something. He's trying to cover something up. He's trying to get you to not pay attention. Okay. Now that, nah. that's interesting. I did that once. That's trash. I did that once. I was twenty-two. Oh, oh, you are I did that the pirate of the same Exactly. 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 Hey, hey, security. Exactly. Security, put him out. <laughs> security, get him. <laughs> Exactly. Oh, you go, you go, Cuba Gooden Jr. That thing, you just gonna be in there like, this shit. that's it. <laughs> Look, all right, let's define this. Let's define this. Are we talking? Are we talking? Wait, are we hey, talking? So, wait, wait, do, do you cry on movies too? Do you cry on the sad movies? Come on. Do you cry on movies too? Uh, Harry and the Hendersons. <laughs> Harry and the Hendersons is what he said he cried on. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, that sounds like a movie about white people. Number two, I don't understand what could possibly happen in that movie that would make you cry. That's what you man. Number three, I think we got to clarify though. I think we got to clarify, right? Wait, 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 wait. We, we are, we are, we are shooting a live podcast. Hold on. I think we, we, are, we are shooting a live podcast. We are shooting a live podcast. That's the funniest thing about the conversation on the corner. You don't stop. On the corner, on the corner. So are, are, are you going to keep talking? That's what happens. Okay, thank no, you. No, I mean, it's an emotional subject, apparently. Um, I'm about to cry laughing. Listen, <laughs> I think there's also a distinction, though. I think if we're talking, a, you know, a tear or two, you know what I'm talking about? Like a slow drag, you know what I mean? Where you wipe it away, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, a thug tear, a thug tear. Thank you, thank you, a thug tear. Versus like the full Cuba Gooden Jr., just like, I'm tired of shit. Snot bubbles and shit, bro. Are y'all taking serious now? I got tears in my eyes. You see what I'm saying? I cry on command. <laughs> Except for the you know what I'm saying? Did you intentionally bring this as a prop no, no, for this segment? I got drive, bro. Allergies bothering me. You real. definitely look like you cry. <laughs> no, no. You know what I'm Fuck what they talking about. It's okay to cry as a man. Let's be what fucking clear. That's not the conversation. Okay, what what we we so, so it may be some shit that we never talk about that we don't talk about with our guys, right? Talk about. I mean, so so I, I've so, seen them cry. So, I've so, seen them so, cry. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. I, they ran out of Long Island. <laughs> 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 you remember that? 
<laughs> no, nah, man. So, so, you know so, as, as a man, there's certain things that you hold near and dear to your heart, right? Right. My daughters are very near and dear to my heart, right? My daughter at one point was hurting me so bad, bro, and I couldn't talk to anyone about it. It just came out, and it's good. okay. And, and, and it's okay. Out there, yeah. And, and that's what I'm saying. I think I think that was kind of some of the point too. They were saying like. If it's about something that's not about your relationship, I think that's because that, that's what you're also saying. You don't want to cry in front of a lady about her. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want you, you to really think you made me cry. You really don't, bro. Like, I don't want to do that. there's two things going on. What, what but if you're yeah. lying or, you know, you fucked up that bad. Yeah, I'm not going to be like, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm, it's not happening, G. No, I'm no, that's real. That's real. I'm gonna leave, cry in the closet or some or the car or whatever. But I'm not gonna just drop tears in front of you like we that. We cracking jokes and it's, it's all fine and dandy with us cracking jokes. But in the end, we are a generation now, and we say it all the time on this podcast. We are changing tradition, man. We have to teach our kids, our young boys. You know, it's okay to own own your fucking emotions, yep. man. That's right. It. That's it's, right. It's better out. Then in, man. And as soon as you do accept who you are, regardless of how sensitive it may seem or how masculine it, it, it may, may not seem, yeah. girl, nah, it's, it's masculine it's sensitive, you know, either, either or. You uh, know, the sooner you'll be comfortable in your own skin, man. And you got, you got to live with that, bro. And, and if your friends shame you or they don't move the same way you do, fam, it's okay. Everybody's different. They don't have, you, you don't have to be like them. They don't have to be like you, man, you know. But when it comes down to crime, bro, I think every man, I'm 42, every man over 25 has cried. I mean, yeah. Has cried. I, yeah. I'll, I'll bet my life on that shit. If it has cried, the, the reason, it don't fucking matter. You just them tears come out, man. It could be, you could be in a place where you feel like there's no way up. You've hit rock bottom. You, you might cry. You don't want to talk to. You're tired of hitting the fucking bottom. You're tired of smoking weed. You're tired of smoking squares. You know, you, you, you'll cry. You'll get it out. I will. Every time you cry, no, boy, my fault, dog. No, every time you that. cry, it's so many songs that say, man, it's like it's, it's cleaning your soul. It's, it's ready it you out, man. You know what I'm saying? You just feel new once it's done. I cried so much when my son was first born, and I, I realized, I found out that he wouldn't be considered mainstream. I cried because I couldn't help him. No matter mm. how much money I made, how many jobs mm. I worked, how much, how many weights I lift, and I love the fucking gym. Mm. I go every fucking day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. How much bullshit I got into, how tough I was, I couldn't fucking help him. I had to get all that shit out of my system. It took years. That's yeah. Years to do that shit now. Now, that's now real. but the sad part is the reverse effect of that is, I got no tears left right now. I just you all cried out, bro. Oh, come on, Laura one well. That's a good song. All <laughs> cried. It's a good ass song, though. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, man, I mean, so just, just all teach your kids. To own them emotions and teach little girls, don't don't laugh at boys when they cry. Well, they, they gonna laugh anyway because kids are fucked up. <laughs> kids are fucked up, man. They, they, kids are mean. You know FDK, man, I'm fuck them kids, mean, man. You know no, no, no. I I, I agree hundred <laughs> percent. I think it is important. I think it is important that we, you know, generationally we've told boys shouldn't cry. You know, girls are soft. All that other stuff. Um, I think that's true, but I also think it's you got to be honest with yourself. I think that you absolutely have to be honest. I know that I'm gonna feel some type of way. If I cry in front of my lady And then like the next day The next day when I try And come strong Right Baby let's go She hates me Baby let's go But see that touches on my ass Right You let your cry But you have have, have to be vulnerable To that woman She has to not take advantage Of that moment You know what I'm saying What woman has not Taken advantage of that moment Well you picking the wrong woman bro You picking the wrong woman bro (laughs) (laughs) All right All right Hey hey Hey, I just yeah, I just, yeah. You just killed yourself. Hey, hey, hey. hey I just I just lost my uh, card carrying uh, <laughs> feminist. Uh. Boy, so but, you say, but in Tyler Perry films and all these movies, and this is what people learn. You'll see that when a man cries, they have some some scene to have now later where you know he tries to come strong like McKinley says. Now the woman's like, well, you wasn't that tough last night, or you didn't stand up to dude in the bar. Well, Tyler Perry movies are not shit a good like, example. Shit like that, man. You know, but it's man. There's women out much, here that do that. How much the movies? Yeah. He not, he, not, he not pulling that shit out of thin air. That, that, we're not saying it's a majority. We're not saying that. Is it, it about, does happen, though. It does happen. That's is it I'm about, saying. is it just yeah. simply, is it just simply about the fact that you're vulnerable, like you said, and you're showing emotion publicly? Is that so really here, here's what the, the problem thing. is? I'm going to take it a step further. I cried in front of my daughter, right? I thought that was the weirdest shit in the world. I felt a way because I didn't know how she was going to view me the next day. She's oh. never seen me cry. So at that point, I'm like, I'm not her superhero no more because I cried. Hmm. She was like, no, nah, that shit was dope. I'm cool. So it, it kind of validated. Kennedy feel different though, bro. Kennedy yeah, feel different yeah. though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, she is. But, we, had, we, had, we had a whole drunk conversation with her. Yeah, but what I'm we saying. We had a whole drunk conversation what with her. What I'm she saying is. Like, like a pro. What I'm saying is, <laughs> I, don't think it's, I don't think anything wrong with that. I don't think there's anything wrong with that, right? 
I, I, I did feel a way. It was like, damn, did I, just, I did I just really cry? But because when you love something so much, like it just, it just, they just start flowing. You know what makes me want to cry though? What's that? When I watch people on every Kanye release date sit there and wait for oh, the time of the album, you know this shit. Not hey, oh, we got, got to talk about yeah. that. Yeah. We not got to not. not. You, want, you, want, you want to hold that for? Uh, yeah, we got to hold yeah, that. We, we hold that. Yeah, we, we, what if you don't want to talk about that though? Oh no, he, 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 he got to. We got no choice on that one. Y'all, how many y'all sitting on on your Apple Music? We gonna shut it down and on your streaming devices wait for Kanye. <laughs> yeah, we we yeah. After these messages, after we'll be right I was back. Though. Yep. <laughs> Hello. All right. Welcome back. Welcome back to the corner. As you see, we have our guest. He has arrived, man. Please just welcome to the stage. Welcome to the show. He got he got like mad put names. Them, put, right? them, put, 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 put them together now. Put them together now. Bro put got, them together bro now. got put mad them names. Right? Yeah, yeah. We'll clap them right, right, right now. now. Put them together clap now. Them right now, man. Fresh off the flight. Fresh off the flight, man. Um, Cosine is is a very, very, very uh, multi-dimensional artist from production. I feel like we met when you were starting out as a producer, uh, but I remember specifically after you graduated college, you went right into teaching production at college, which was I thought was amazing. Um, you've obviously, you just released an album, you got podcasts, you got your own company, man. He got his own money, you hear me? Look, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, real talk, man, real talk. Black excellence. Please welcome to the show on... Cosine on the beat is how we met, brother. <laughs> Please say on the beat. You hear me? Um, but no, man, welcome to the show, brother. Much love. Man, much love. Thank you so much for having me, man. Yeah, no doubt. I, I actually booked myself for he this. Did. You know you did. You did. Like, What's up? Shout out to my management, to my agents, everybody that on my team. No, no, no. I'm not shouting none of them out. Because when we called myself. them, when we called them in November, <laughs> right, we no, got nothing. We got a bunch of questions and no right. confirmation. You planted the seed, is what uh, you did. You planted okay. the seed, and then right. <laughs> On God's time. <laughs> on God's time. That boy here, this better be hey, gathered. This, this gather. gonna be something yes, right here. Yes, bless. Well, listen, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta explain your feature drink that you have in front of you. I don't man, know why yours is extra yellow when we know. Hey, that motherfucker half empty. Did y'all did, did y'all talk before no you got here? Did you know to match your shirt with your drink? Is that <laughs> yeah? Okay. You got the coordinate. We got the, you know we got the Enrique Papi. Enrique Papi. With Lisa. Don He's got Don Julio Lisa, Ray Posado. This is incredible. Make some noise for Lisa. <laughs> the Enrique Papi is especial, man. <laughs> this ain't gonna work. <laughs> we, we got the we got the Don Julio Ray Posado pineapple. Ooh. Be quiet, man. I'm trying to read sorry, the ingredients. Sorry. God damn. We got the Don Julio Ray Posado pineapple serrano with the syrup, mango juice. Or uh, her habanero bitters, so it's got a little fire to it. I see. Mm, yeah, spicy, yeah. spicy. Um, man, I don't know what you. Doing. Go ahead. Let's let's just start oh, here. Wait, wait, my bad. What up, what and up? we do have one other oh, feature yeah, yeah, yeah. here. Go so ahead, raise your glasses, gentlemen. What are you with? So real talk. Yeah, yeah. Grab one. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Grab the little one. Yeah, yeah. Bossy, yeah. Bossy, yeah, yeah. Bossy, yeah. yeah. Grab the juniors. So, so we have the uh, pina colada with Mount Gay rum, right? What? Right. Mount, Mount what? Mount Gay Rum. Oh, okay. It's yeah, a rum. Okay. okay. And okay. <laughs> oh, God Pause. damn it. What? And um provided thank you, Aston. Aston definitely Aston. came by to support. Yeah. Shout out. Aston did a quick thank you for you the know sponsor. Thank you, sample. Aston. So um we are we're celebrating the fact that this is the very first live corner convo. It's a monthly series. You are our very first Boy, guest. My arm getting tired. Um <laughs> so this is about to be something. So cheers <laughs> to you fellas, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right Appreciate now. you, bro. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Salute. 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 Little straw, shout out to Capri Sun for these little straws. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right that, that was great. Like that. That's, that's great. That's great. It's good though, cause this is this is why I can't really that's run school, through the drink. Wrong. I can't run through the drink. The let's, drink. let's 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 go back to that that November conversation. Right, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so I hit Coach like, yeah, no, I want to do it. I got you. I felt like he was like Hollywood in the motherfucker for us, <laughs> right? Like what? Like like you're my like we're friends. Like I know you, right? <laughs> We go Wait, back did you sleep email? on his couch or did he sleep on your couch? <laughs> no, I had a car. I had, I had a vehicle, so I wasn't saying nobody could. <laughs> well, first, first of all, hold on, let's go before the November conversation. Go ahead, go ahead. Let's go to when mine kind of stole my life. You know what I'm saying? Because, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go. Okay, I know, I know where you're going. I've been waiting on this shit. I know where you're going. <laughs> That's why he called you. You know where you're going. That's why he called you. I'm going to tell this story where, today. Where Q Bill at, man? Because <laughs> first and foremost, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my big brother Q. You know what I'm saying? I was supposed to be your hype man. <laughs> Years ago. 
My voice is clearer oh, than mine. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, I'm going back. Where, where, what year am I in? corner. That with my, okay, so you talking about, let's go back to November. Let's go back to 2004. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When I was supposed to be Q Bill, a hype man, and mine stole my life. You know what I'm saying? Because, <laughs> you know. At the time, I really didn't have the confidence to be a rapper, but I had the confidence to be a hype man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, I the background. I could be oh. that other guy on stage, you know what I'm saying? Doing a lot of hand motions. Doing a little light. <laughs> <laughs> and the thing about mine is his voice used to be hoarse sometimes, and I used to yeah, be like, yeah. Ma, why wasn't you drinking tea last night? We had a show today. <laughs> You up there with he you? Was. You drinking Long Island iced tea? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. And mine is just like, fam. I'm actually his his best friend in real life, so I can be however I want to be up here, <laughs> <laughs> and it don't matter. I'm sitting there doing push ups. True story. True story. I'm doing push ups, trying I'm to get myself push-ups. together. Like, you really need somebody that's gonna take this seriously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he told me the same shit. Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. You just brought it up. You just brought it up now. You just brought it up. Bro. Hype Man Wars. Look, look, hype look, Man Wars look, is going look, down. I'm taking serious. You ain't Stop. never heard of somebody being jealous of a hype man. You know what I'm saying? Better like Kirill up there rapping out here. I don't care. The other other brother, other brother, other brother. <laughs> the other brother on stage. I can get help. I can get help. Yeah, that's really funny. Yo, Q, Q. After that, we did the first. I ain't gonna say the first DJ name because it's a strong pause. But okay. there was another DJ that was working on the Take You Back to Chicago mixtape before me. Mm-hmm. Right mm-hmm. after we did the first one, Q calls me after the second one. I remember sitting clearly. I'm sitting on 47th. It's four o'clock in the morning. He's still sending me songs. We supposed to put this out tomorrow, yeah. right? He's man, Joe. I need you to uh, take that LEP song and uh, put that in <laughs> number four of the mixtape, right? I say, man, I can't do that. I got a job. I got to go to school tomorrow. <laughs> like I got a life. Q say, man, you know, I really need somebody who want to be like the best DJ on my team. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I want. I need somebody who like wants to be the best at this to be on my job. <laughs> my thing was. My thing was. More than fifty dollars might get you. <laughs> if I didn't have to go to work to sustain driving these free shows, you might get the greatest DJ. See, I had money, G. I had money. And, and, and the thing is, really, we might have to bring Q up here because it's really like, why you ain't believing me, fam? <laughs> why all this time you let my you let DJ in so many jobs that you could have provided for me? But but you actually in my my opinion, you gave Q, in my personal opinion, his biggest song that I love. Colors is the shit. Colors was hot. Colors is the shit. Colors, 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 colors is the shit. I got colors. Uh, colors. I remember we sat down, we talked about that, and Q was like, man, Joe, motherfucker just stole all my gym shoes. Like, I, how I'm going to put this show out here, you know, put this song out here. Mm-hmm. We like, nah, bro, we, we'll buy them. It's okay. We're putting it out. You know what I'm saying? And it took mm-hmm. you and two, probably, he probably didn't give a fuck what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all made him do that. You know what I'm saying? Man. And I was like, man, that shit was gold. Shout out to the cool kids. That shit was yeah. gold. Shout out to that the cool dope, kids, man. Chuck English, yeah. Mikey Rocks. But then again, and this probably be the last shout out to Q, because I ain't come here to just. Yeah, I ain't, talking about, oh, dang, like, <laughs> I ain't talking about Q no more. I ain't talking about Q no more. Right, right. right. We gave you enough flowers. <laughs> but I will say that the way he beatboxed the idea to me, bro, which is how it is, I really can't articulate this enough as a producer where it's like make my job easy mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying if you can give me a vision if you have a vision most artists don't have vision they got sight they don't have vision they got sight not vision these metaphors today you know what I'm saying? Boy, we <laughs> they can see but Q Biller came gave me the whole con- when he was done giving me the vision of the song the beat was already done you right. know what I mean? Gangsta. So that's why. Right. That was Q. All right, Ashley Q, if you want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, so, when yeah. you walked in, when somebody in your status walks in, bro, you know what I'm saying? Renowned mm-hmm. world famous man. I always look at they, they outfit, how they get up, man. Uh, I've been trying to bring my brothers to the to the present mm-hmm. since we started this podcast, Are man. Are you trying to say I'm not fashionable? They, they, don't my believe, face? they don't believe in slim hands, bro. Oh, you got to slow. Yeah, well, mm-hmm. I mean. First of all, I got some super skinny legs. I was born with chicken legs. <laughs> you a 29, 29 slim you know dude? It don't matter how many squats I do. <laughs> it's just like they just going to be like they've been like this since high school. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, you know, the, and look, the jokes that I used to take, I remember when I first came around too. Shout out to my brother yeah, too. Yeah, shout, shout out to Fee. Too. Shout out to the Southside Fee. Fee, what up? You know what I'm saying? Like Conquer Records. I remember they was calling me Lap all the time, right? Lap? And I'm like, Lap. And I, I, you know, 
As a West Little Sider, I didn't even really go to the South Side. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. You can see you there. As a West Side, I didn't even really go to the South Side like that. So I'm like, not even talking that much. You know what I'm saying? But then they kept on saying that lap. I'm like, yo, fam. <laughs> Why you steady saying lap, fam? I, I know like, it's a joke. Nigga, you always got on them little, little ass pants. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you, bro, bro, you always got on them little ass pants. When, hey, when you, when you walked in, I felt that energy, dog. Hey, you felt the little, that, the that, little that, ass pants energy? That's that energy, bro. Fuck it's little ass pants, pants energy little, opposite I'm of... I was, I was proud. I'm proud of the pants. It's all right. So I, just, do. I just so happen to be uh, shaped like a French model, so I, mean, I, mean, I, I, just, I got like the like slim it down. I got the slim it. You know what I'm saying? Wait, well, bring, bring your bros up to speed sometimes, man. You know what I'm saying? I can't so, do them all. So check it out. Check it out. Right. So everybody in the room that does not know, you're looking at a Grammy-nominated producer. Nine, ten, fifteen. How many times. platinum albums, G? Um, How many platinum albums? Yeah, no, this is this is a real thing. Uh, we're talking we're talking about uh, television. Uh, we're talking about man, man cave was my shit. Let me be clear. Uh, and now, now the new show on BET, uh, Encore, dealing with all those women. We're going to get into that. We're going to get into that. Um, but since we, <laughs> like, on the corner, right, we don't, we don't interview, right? We really just we have just a conversation. Talk, and because we have history together, this shit going to be dope. And I just got to know. Who got to go? Who alarm was that? Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you, yeah, you, you didn't know he's security, uh-huh. too. Like, he'll kick him up. <laughs> Middle of the show, he'll get up off the mic, hey, snatch you by the back of your too. collar, and toss you out like that Jazzy Jack. <laughs> now, hey, that uh, like somebody oh, no. with more than one job. No, she took care of you. Oh, we, she, she good. Uh, so, no, my, my, I guess my, my question would be, your new album, right? I've known you for a, a very long time. There's a, a maturation process that you've gone through. Maturation? Right? Um, it's like a five. I've, like I've, I've, I've been there for a lot of, a lot of your major... <laughs> Accomplishments, right? So, thank you for sharing those moments with me. Um, I want to share one with you today. We are the official podcast for Summerfest in Chicago. It's a great look for the brand. High Park Summerfest, man. High Park Summerfest, man. Let's celebrate that. Let's celebrate that. Let's go. Let's celebrate that. Let's go. Let's go. Jonathan Swain, Dave, Jeff, man. We can't thank y'all enough. We super excited. Right, like, y'all will see going forward, but we're going to be live streaming. We're going to have various people coming in. It's going to be a dope event, man. Very, 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 very happy to be able to announce that, man. Thank you for coming. Told you for the season, love it, man. If you were out yeah. Chicago at that point in time, you know what I'm saying? I had to kidnap you and bring you through that motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, well, we to kidnap him. Can't we just be like invite him? This had a drink, man. You, you had you, you, Enrique Poppy here, I'm, I'm man. Dra- drastic methods first. Make sure you get there. Coach had a uh, a viral moment, and I called him. Oh, I texted him. I don't know if he responded back, but he dunked on Kenny Smith, and that shit was hilarious. Yeah, that yeah, shit was on TNT, that. right? How did, what, what hit, him the, Shaq, hit him with Shaq? Hit him with Shaq that threw that on their show? We gotta run this back. Yeah, yeah, we, we gotta, gotta, yeah, we we gotta, gotta, we gotta run the clip. Yeah. We gotta run the clip. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I'm gonna get you the video. Definitely. Oh, it's, trip. it's, it's yeah. everywhere. It's nothing. It's nothing. Yeah. Um, what was that moment to dunk on his ball mask? Yo, so, <clears throat> shout out to Kenny Smith. No, I love Kenny. Barbecue chicken. It's crazy. I guess I can tell the truth now, too. Yeah, I guess I can tell it. It's been enough time. So... First off, when I when I first got to LA, one of the first projects we worked on was um, Kenny Smith's daughter Kayla, mm-hmm. and um, we got her a, a deal with she Interscope. Too. She's she super sang. talented, yeah. beautiful young lady, acting now, still doing music, and I I've never really cared about the money when it comes to making music because I really love music. I ain't never had no real job for real. I really just <laughs> That's make blessing, songs though. every day. So teaching ain't a real job no more. Nah, nah, nah. Teaching ain't a real job. I got my degree. I could be whatever. So right. I, I really love music. And so when it came to Kenny, it's like, tell me what it was like playing basketball with Michael Jordan. Mm. I'm from Chicago, bro. Say that name again. What name was that? Michael Jordan. Mike, Michael Jordan. He was at North Michael Carolina Jordan. with him. MJ. He played in the NBA with him. <laughs> You know, forget this money. Tell me what happened, bro. What was it like? How was he? You know, when the game is on, can I come, you know, through the crib? Let me get the analysis. And, yeah, you know, his, his son actually just finished at North Carolina, but I used to be at practice with him. I used to be mm. at his AAU games. You know, when it comes to working with people in the music business, <clears throat> the way I choose to, to run my business is to really be about the brotherhood. Got you know it. what I'm saying? Like, if I'm working with you or working with somebody in your camp, like, I really want to tap in. And so one day we had practice, and I was playing in so many celebrity leagues. And I mean celebrity leagues with Chris Brown and Tank. Yeah, I saw, I saw something like, like the NBA E-League you know or saying? something, like the yeah. Entertainment Jamie League. Jamie Foxx yeah. is, a, is a, a league called the E-League. Right. And so from a money caliber, I had just got to L.A. I could not compete money-wise at all. You know what I'm saying? 
but on the court, it's like a equalizer. Mm. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? It's the black man's golf course. Man, so it's like if I could cross. You know what I'm saying? Somebody. Kenny Smith. Yeah, somebody. <laughs> well, Kenny wasn't in the league, but like T.O. T.O. was in the league. Mm-hmm. If I could dunk on Kenny, oh T.O., I'm on World Star. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Which, which was the goal at the time? Dunk gotcha. on somebody. That was the goal. Get on World Go Star. Viral. So I'm asking Kenny about how to dunk. You know what I'm saying? Like, how do you really? And he was like, "Look, we used to do this in All Star games. Tell your man to get the camera. Fake left, go right, and go crazy. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go left on purpose." Uh, so it looks so bad on TNT. <laughs> it looked like I broke Kenny knee. Yeah, right? that shit was too. When his knees already fucked up. Facts <laughs> though, big facts. But it's like I promise you, I got more love in the hood for dunking oh, on Kenny absolutely. than any of my music. Like any of my songs that went number one. They was like, "Hey, fam, why you dunk on Kenny like that, G? <laughs> <laughs> you petty as hell for dunking on him like that, G? <laughs> like fuck, fuck the Rihanna, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, fuck, fuck yeah, the KKK, like yeah, that. ass, yeah. That's crazy. Straight up, that's the real man. Like, so you mentioned something right before we got on the show. You mentioned that you own your own masters. So one of the things that we were talking about earlier in, in the break is us educating young artists now." Who have the same dream, right? I, I mean, when I met you, you, you and Q and all them, y'all had already met. You know what I'm saying? We were in the boiler room. We were in the basement one day, right? And shout out to Noise, man. Real talk. Noise, um, what up? And directed um, my video. Yeah. yeah, and which was dope. My movie. In I'm my sorry. mind, Demi, watching Demi watching at hilarious. that time, watching you work till five, six in the morning on some random local rapper's album, but working on it like this is the one that's gonna get me on, right? Like working on it with that same level, right? You learn more about the business from the producer side than the artist side because you have to start figuring those things out. So one of the things that we've really been talking about is how do we educate these kids that want to have that same dream, but they may not make it. They may not get to the Grammy nominations, right? They may not get to the, to the TV shows, right? Mm-hmm. How do we teach them about the business so that they can still be a part of this industry that they love that produces billions of well, dollars? I mean, you teach them by teaching them, right? You share the information. But what you have to keep in mind as an educator is some ain't never going to learn. Right. Mm. And some going to have to learn the hard way. Mm. Me personally, I was one of them ones that had to learn the hard way. I had to get the bag, completely fuck up the bag. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Be right back in Maywood. You know what I mean? You know, I, love, I love telling my story. I was about story. to get back to the no, wood. No, no, no. Tell us. Yeah, I was about to get back to the wood. Tell us. Tell us. Tell us. my story because it'd be like, yeah. dang, that's Cosack. He on TV. Ah, you think it's sweet. I'm about to bust every balloon right. in here. My ass was right back in Maywood at my auntie house. Right with after the, bag, the first deal. Completely messed with, up. With the bougie auntie or the regular auntie? Oh man, the regular team. Regular team. Regular team. Ain't I no mean, bougie auntie. My, family, my family always love when I come home from LA. They love it. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, oh, he back home. But I kind of hate it sometimes because I be it be because I done messed up the bag and I can't afford the rent. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. And that's really why I'm here. It's like getting kicked out of college and then having to go to Triton. Like go 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 to the junior college and, and like be. I'm sorry, you just shot somebody. <laughs> Me, <laughs> I'm the one got kicked out and went to Triton. <laughs> so, so to bring it all the way back to the kids, you just got to understand that sometimes they're gonna have to learn the hard way. But what we have to be as people is we have to be more focused on planting seeds. And if you're not if you're not planting the seed, then you just pouring water. Mm. But we definitely not God Animal forces Right And day. people we want to go around And play God And try to change things we, we don't have that much control But what we can do Is plant those seeds Every opportunity Plant the seed Or water the seed Sometimes these kids Might come to you And might say something like that Like You know uh, I was thinking about Owning my masters Oh Right <laughs> Oh the seeds Already been planted So now Mm. Water You know what That's a great idea young How man. hard is it Is it like completely difficult Do you have to do Like a whole lot of things Like, No is it- it's not hard But the thing is Is that we've been deceived hmm. Talk about it We've been deceived On a lot of levels And it depends on How deep y'all want to go You know what I'm saying Because as deep as you want to go I'm here for all of that I'm with all of the shits Oh yeah, yeah. Hey, Jimmy I've seen them They watch We already know what it yeah. is yeah. I'm with every piece <laughs> of the shits You know what I'm saying I'm at home I'm comfortable um, but we've been deceived that when we finish a song, the first thing that we need to do Let's get a is deal. sell it to a major label and sell off that master. We don't think that as soon as we're done with the song, we just became an owner of an original copyright. We don't think about we just became an owner of a piece of IP, intellectual, intellectual property. property. Yep. You know what I mean? But being the salt of the earth, people... The way this country is designed, they're supposed to pay us for our ideas, fam. Facts. 
And it's been a lot of stealing going on for a long time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah. we waking up every day. We having moments like this. We having brothers like this that have platforms like this where brothers like myself can come and share and say, when you're done with that song, Understand that you're the owner of an original copyright. Yeah, it's you basically just, a piece of art. Like you literally, like you wouldn't. I mean, granted, you make a piece of art, you sell it to you know whoever for its price, but you certainly have access to a space to say that, like, like you say, IP. Your ideas matter. Your ideas are definitely profitable ideas. But, but let's be a hundred, man. When you are at that spot where you struggling. And do want to give you a bag for this cut, right? Like, I need to get that kind of imprint, right? I think it's a difficult conversation for a younger person to, to, to turn down that kind of what bag. What is the thing? It's one song. So hmm. if you want to sell one song, sell one song. If you make music, you make music every day. You shouldn't be concerned and your whole career shouldn't be based on one, one song. One album, right. You know what I'm saying? Part of the reason why I'm here today with you brothers is because of what? Y'all consistency. Hmm. Talk about it. If y'all was y'all was gonna do this with or without me, because y'all have a podcast that's locked in, and that's where a lot of people forget. They're trying to chase a moment. It's not about moments, it's about lifestyle. Mm. Facts. Facts. I do this all the time. I do this every week. I do this every month. Yep. I do this it every life. day. Yep. yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And when you have that level of consistency. Sooner or later, if it's meant to be, if it's if it's in the most highest plan, it's gonna happen. So, yeah. so you you just want to see if we was popping if it was serious. Ooh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. If, if if we was serious, I gave it away. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I, I respect that though. I respect that. <laughs> That's not all the way true. I'm pulling up this email, G. I'm pulling up the email. No, 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 it's good, bro. I know, bro, like, look, look, yeah, it's super funny. You know, you know how we do. That's right, bro. And I'm a better footworker than you too. That's That's why I got yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was yeah. the dance off too? Oh yeah, we can do that. What the fuck is going on? Hey, we do that. When you talk too much to somebody from Chicago, they gonna put two or two together, right in the conversation, right, and come right at your head in right. the same conversation. Right. Well, I, I got a two part question for you, though, yes, man. Sir. You know, I'm, I'm gonna kick it off with this. I'm 42. I don't know how old you are. It don't even matter. You know what I'm saying? I'm you know, 38. 38. There you go. I didn't ask me to share it with y'all. All right. Uh, he not dirty. <laughs> the name of the album is called Truth Serums. I'm just gonna tell the truth. <laughs> please, yeah. please do. I, I take a man at his word. If he say if he can say he's 25, I'm like, all right, he's 25. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? But you hear people complaining about how bad the city is now. You know what I'm saying? The city's this. It's not. It was. It wasn't always like this. It's. It's worse now. These kids. This. This. That. That. I'm like, fam. I survived the 90s. I survived the 90s, and I mean, I can see y'all angle because it may be more reckless now, but it was definitely violent in the 90s. 800 killings, 900, Caprini Green still popping, you know, projects still going crazy. You know, you mentioned L.A. You live in L.A. How often do you come back to the city? And when you come back, do you notice uh, a difference? And is it for the better or for the worse? Or what space do you be in in Chicago? I come back to Chicago all the time. As an alumni of Columbia College, Chicago. Professor, right. professor, as professor, a professor, as a, professor. You know, a, a former oh, professor. Yeah, we can definitely yeah, 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 no, no, talk about it. Talk about it. Created, yeah. created his own program. Like, yeah. let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah let, me get, let me give you that Columbia College story because for those that don't know, we about to, let's, let's get into it. It's uh, actually, Lisa, if, if you don't mind, it's actually time for another Enrique Poppy. <laughs> Cause he about to get in his bag. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. He let's go. To tell some truth I, out here. I, I, I want to get to the point where I just start crying. I'd be like, Yes. <laughs> oh yes, no. Yes. Oh, yeah. See that? No, because no, no. But let me tell you, you why. It's a whole conversation, dog. No, I'm gonna tell you why. Though. I'm gonna yeah. tell you why. I'm we gonna come back to that. We gonna come back. I'm gonna tell you why though, because go ahead. Go ahead. I do. I go do ahead. a lot of pod. I, I do a lot of podcasts. <laughs> I do a lot of panels. I speak a lot, right? And what I'm noticing is, especially like. From before Man Cave, this is therapy for me, bro. Yes. Like, y'all yes. in here enjoying the podcast, y'all having drinks, all that cool, that's great. I came here and I booked myself for this so I could come talk to my friends like and brothers that knew me before any of this life, bro. That's real. Because that's it. important. That's that's how I stay grounded. Yes. You that's know what I'm saying? Real. So even with all of the, what people say about the city, watch this. I'm pulling up. Hey, <laughs> I want the world to know I'm from Chicago. Hey, I'm pulling up. <laughs> talking about <laughs> what are you talking about this is my wow, home bro. that's my cousin right there what up, I, you know what I'm saying my cousin came and got me from there man, why he look so home. serious yeah. though G like he do not he look entertaining he's security he's the bro, he, everything he stared through the window it. like a cyclops he's the family you know what I'm saying <laughs> but yeah you know um 
I kind of forgot the question at this point. You know, <laughs> so no, you, was, you started out telling the Columbia story that you oh, never yeah. told. All right, so, let's, so let's get back to Columbia. Let's get back to Columbia because first, at 18 years old, I went away to an HBCU, Tallahassee FAMU. FAMU, you know shout out, shout out, shout out to FAMU to the Rattlers. And that was because you know my mama was overprotective. She never let me go outside. She was like, "You are not Marcos. What you now want to do is gangbang in my house, Marco, and wear the hat to the left." To the right. <laughs> what a lot. What a lot. Pants up, pull your pants up. You know what I'm saying? My mama used to be on my ass. I'm like, I'm going to Tallahassee. Then after my sophomore year, the unthinkable happens, right? My mom passes away from pancreatic cancer. And her last wish was that I graduate from college. Mm -hmm. And so she passed away um, after my sophomore year. Three years later, I graduated with a 4.0 on Mother's Day. Hey, come on, man. Come Look on. at the big brain on coach. Look at the big brain on coach. <laughs> all praise. All praise to the most high. And it's crazy because I wanted to drop out of school. You know, education was her dream, right? Mm -hmm. And this is why I encourage everybody that's listening, that's watching, that's here in this room today, really find your motivation, right? Like, if you can't see it within yourself, right, you don't, you... I'm tapped out. I'm tired. That makes sense. But look around you. Look at your family. Look at the people that depend on you. Look at your children. You know what I'm saying? Like, find that inspiration outside of yourself and push the fuck through. Push Man, word up through. on that one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I graduated. I'm the only student in the history of Columbia College, Chicago, to speak at graduation and not be the valedictorian. Mm. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. But they understood that I needed to dedicate that degree to my mother. For sure. You know what mm. I mean? Um, and then they hired me. 23 years old, I became a college professor just the next semester. That was crazy to fall. me, bro. I remember mm -hmm. that. I, that was crazy to me. Because I just remember thinking to myself, like, you have zero, like, like professional experience <laughs> <Why me? laughs> as a professor of a college, bro. Right. Like, I get that it's Columbia and it's producing or whatever, but it's like, that's not the same as building curriculum and lesson plans and, like, being in charge of other people's education. I was astonished when I found out. I didn't find but out until two years later. You know what? Shout out to Kimo Williams. And then shout out to all the mentors out here, right? Because when I think about that moment specifically, he saw it in me hmm. before I saw it in myself. Hmm. I didn't know that. Right. But he told me, he said, I've never had a student like you. I ain't never had no student like you. You can teach here if you want. Because I was like, man, I'm going to L.A., man. I'm going to L.A., man. <laughs> I'm going to L.A. He's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I know you want to go to L.A., but I also know you want to get on your feet and you want to have your, your shit together. So while you're getting it together, you can teach here. And I don't care what you teach. Make up a class. Mm. I made up a class called Hip Hop Beat Making. <laughs> nice one to doing it at Duke now. Hip Hop Beat Making. Because honestly, when I was there, I was like, man, why we don't do none of the stuff that I do in my mama basement? In school. What right. even 2 is telling me they do right. in LA. Like, we don't do this in school. Right. So I was always complaining. You know what I mean? Like, we ain't got no laptops. How are we supposed to make me? We got no laptops. Ain't no, di you know no, no digital, uh, no dolls, Bro, no DA dubs. They got laptops for everybody. You know what I mean? They really let me do my thing. I was teaching on Pro Tools and Reason. Um, and what I realized, because I didn't have any hits at the moment. So the way I, I, was, I was insecure about hmm. if I would have the respect of my students. Because right. some of them were older than me. And again, I didn't have no hits. So every week... I was making new beats just to fight them. You know what I'm saying? Got it. Got it. Right. Got you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, I'm doing that now. I know I ain't got no hits, but I did this last night. Boom! You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, professor, you made that last night. Right. You know what I mean? When you got it, right. you got it, dog. Man. Man. About what you got out there. And what it also time. did was it was this like it was this space for me to to develop a formula for making hits and to learn how to articulate that formula. Is there is there a formula for making hits? Hundred percent. Because I, in my mind, right? Again, I don't make beats, right? Mm -hmm. I do no music. Oh, you're not a musician today. I said, I, I oh, said today you're not a musician. musician. I said, I, said I don't make beats. This boy went on record. I said, I don't make beats. He said, I don't said he's a whole musician. I am. I am. I don't make beats. That's not part of my, my resume. What I'm saying is, I didn't know that there is an actual resume or a step by step process to making a hit. Because you're not a musician. So, so watch this. So, <laughs> sure. 
Sure. <laughs> so watch this. Uh, 2010, I was selected as one of five U.S. VIPs to, pre- to cr- participate in a songwriting camp in Holland, right? Okay. Where there was this master class taught by the late Ralph Murphy. It's a two hour master class on songwriting. When I came back from that trip to Holland, I wrote my first triple platinum hit with Justin Flex. Bieber and Sean Kingston Flex. called Eenie Flex. Meenie. Let's go. Oof. Clap you it up for the yeah. Yeah. Shout, out, shout out to triple platinum. Yeah. Shout out to triple platinum. That's, that's real. This is why I always promote education. You okay. know what I'm saying? Because. That uh, that old white man, bless his soul, God rest his soul. I used to call him dad. You know what I'm saying? After that, wow. Because one, you know, my daddy wasn't around like that, and I always wanted to daddy. That's not that's not my fault. So, that's not my fault. <laughs> he I was, said, that's not my fault. I was, I was busy. Yeah. I was busy. It might be your fault a little bit, man. I don't know how, but it might be your fault. But like, he gave me so much game, bro, and okay. he was so giving until the day he left this earth, bro. That when I'm with new artists like I just signed a kid from Chicago um, and before he flew to LA with his dad to work with me uh, I sent him this lecture that I'm talking about a Ralph Murphy lecture and I sent it to him because when people are serious about learning how to song right I send them that lecture and see if they take note take it in, yeah. Yeah. when this little boy came to the studio opened up his laptop and had two pages worth of notes I knew I was about to hey, make a hit with him I'm gonna okay. work on this yeah. Yeah. I knew yeah, 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 yeah. This, is some, this is worth me investing in because yeah. shorty take this serious yeah. you Facts. know what I'm saying and we did we cooked Facts. But on your Speak- podcast bro truth for my fault bro because no, y'all, y'all threw my question in trash well here's the thing yeah, B- oh, A- B- B- A- B- we don't know each other hold on hold on that's why we put him right there that's why we made sure he was in between but look 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 real quick before you do that boss before you do that Yes, I am. No, 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 I am. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. Listen, I know I'm telling you what to do. I know you don't like that. I'm gonna do it anyway. Why do you keep, why do you keep touching my ass on camera? Why do you keep touching me? You don't wait till after camera. No, you said you signed a young man, and on this show, we pretty much audition once a week. To oh, yeah, it's get it's, 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 it's get, 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 get signed time. time. I feel like it's time. It is. It for ain't us to show. I'm in the studio while I'm in Chicago while I'm here, so it ain't like I'm not working, bro. I think I, th- I, th- I think we yeah. I think uh, we got do. bars. Let the bars be what they gon' be. <laughs> no, no, we, we don't rap. Cause I do. We it. don't rap. We're a barbershop no, quartet. No, we we sing. Okay. We're a black we barbershop quartet. Sing right the fire. <laughs> home sing right right. fire. Somebody give me an A. Somebody give me an A four forty. Let me get a me. <laughs> hmm. oh, so shit, what man. we're what we're looking for is a new lead singer. We're looking for a new lead singer. So which means that's what you're auditioning for. <laughs> Wait, on, so on, on the corner. <laughs> you're auditioning to sign us. You're auditioning to sign us. Duh. Duh. Fuck. We will back you up. Oh, okay. <laughs> He this gonna sign himself and put you in his background. You auditioning to so, sign so, us? So, so, what? <laughs> what is this about? No, no, no. Just bro. When, when y'all hear this, and, and, and y'all and y'all can chime in. Everybody, everybody, everybody the quiet, in the middle. You want the quiet? Yeah, yeah. yeah. we gonna give yeah, him the full Sunday this. service vibe. Can y'all hear Here that? Here we go. Can y'all hear that? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Here we go. Hey. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's the wrong group, man. Pretty brown eyes, you know I see you. What's up, coach? It's a thing. I like the way you treat me. Keep holding on to your thoughts on rejection. If you believe me, keep telling me that <laughs> your time is always taken. Keep seeing you out alone. Listen to love, your heart is pounding with I don't know this word. <laughs> Never listen to song, but don't to me. Everybody, 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 everybody. Breaking, Breaking my heart. heart.
with as much. That was that exclusive. Are we good? Yeah. Are we good? Who's that? The drums are taking out. The drums are taking out. The drums are taking out. That boy pulled a whole David Ruffin. Like, y'all ain't selling records. David Ruffin. I didn't even know I was supposed to do it. Hey, no, no, no. Joe, as a, as we, a producer, we're gonna, we gonna not do this motherfucker right here for real. I right, turn all this shit over. <laughs> Wait, what's all this shit over, bro. Go ahead, get your shit out. Get your shit out. All this shit, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What? 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 Fuck y'all. What? 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 Damn. Number three. 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 Bossy want to talk. Bossy want to talk. I, I don't want to talk. It's just a simple question, bro. So I've been checking out, checking out the podcast, Hello. man. True Serum. And I, some people might miss it, but it's easy to see, man, that each episode is named after a song on the album, which kicks off really, really dope, man. And I started off watching Seven Streeter and another person, man. It's just like, because you're so creative, was it easy to just do that? Or was that lazy? And then where did you draw? It was because it, it, it was so creative in my jump. He's like, fuck it, let me use the titles. Really, that's it, man. Yeah, uh, so this is the thing. What I noticed, especially being from Chicago, right? People, they just don't want to give you an opportunity. You know what I'm saying? They don't. They don't want to help you. You said people in general, not people necessarily general. people from Chicago, right? People, Chicago, like, too. Both. Chicago is one of the most talented cities most beautiful people. Pool, if you can make it out of this city, make it in this city, you can make it anywhere in the world. Facts. You know what I mean? Facts. No, definitely clap so, it up for Chicago. Yeah, let's let's, let's make some noise for Chicago talk. real quick. Real talk. One time, one time. One time. That's time. 100% right. Basketball, business, anything, bro. Like, anything. everybody okay. come out of shop. But, 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 everything. but what, I, what I mean is, is like, I remember getting to LA, one of the first people I worked with was Evan Ross. Okay. And so He's this dope. man, Mama, it's Diana Ross, fam. You know what yep. I'm saying? Light skin. Ain't nobody I grew up with. What's that light skin? You know what I'm saying? In Chicago, mama, anywhere close to Diana Ross, yeah. bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. So yeah. we have to work so hard to get in a business and to get noticed. You know what I mean? Um, kind of forgot where I was going with the point. So that's, that's twice. That's twice. Hey, fuck great. my question. Everybody say fuck my question. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, you, say your question one more time because I just started thinking about how hard it was to get it out. Right, he went back. He went back to a dark place. Just, where do you draw your creativity from, man? You know what I'm saying? Especially after, after dropping uh, triple platinum hits and producing for some of the, the biggest names out here. It, it can get Oh, and you was talking about the, okay, I got it. I got yeah, it. You was talking about the podcast man. too, right? Right. Because you, you said the true show hey, you podcast. You worse than me, dog. I'm nah, 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 yeah, I'm I, I be smoking weed too. But, um, so, <laughs> so what it is is, I said with this project, I'm gonna make sure I do my part. So I put out the project. I put out the album. I mean, I put out the short film. It's a 28 yeah, I saw that. minute that was movie. It's a short film. Yeah, shit was dope. Shout out to Noise that goes with the album. Yeah. And then I thought, but you know what? They're going to say they didn't hear the album. They're going to say they didn't see the short film. So let me hit them with a podcast and just do seven episodes representing the seven songs on the album. Dope. So that way I know that when it came to my project, I did everything did I could. Part. I yeah. did my part. That's facts. I <laughs> gave myself a major label rollout as an independent black Shout Record out, label man. owner. Real talk, man. Real talk. And to be a hundred, to be a hundred, we had jokes earlier. But what's funny is you actually said that in Nima. He was like, "Yo, I got a lot of projects cooking." That was back in November. He was like, "I got a lot of projects cooking." We didn't know what they were. So when you dropped them, it was like, "Bro, he." That's all. That's when the work was getting done. You've been. That's what you have been working on for the last, like the podcast, the album, the video, and everything. So it does make sense too. It's it's this book that changed my life. It's a lot, it's a few books, right? So when it came to publishing an intellectual property. That's rich dad, poor dad, right? That's yeah, what I Robert about Red residual yeah. income. You yeah. do something one time yep. and get paid for it forever. I can literally look in my ASCAP, uh, no, my Sony portal and see a million dollars made over my, the plus over the course of my career. But that's from writing songs in my Flash. mind. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like we as we make songs out of thin air bro facts you know what i'm saying like cats make songs dances all that stuff out of thin air so to be able to look at a million plus from just being consistent and staying down is a is the ultimate blessing so now let's talk about the oh so my bad one more book one more book the other book is the four agreements 
And one of the four agreements is not to take things personal. You know what I'm saying? So Facts. when I hit y'all back in November, y'all gonna stop pressing me about this <laughs> shit. No, no, it's funny. Stop I didn't, I, I didn't take it personal. Up. I didn't take it personal. Like, cause look, look I'll, I'll, I'll text you like Happy Father's Day. Like you hit right back. <laughs> he said, I'm text you Happy Father's Day. That's, that's, you know that's friend shit though, right? But you know what? The thing about me and you, man, and all my homies though, it's all about the people that call you for no reason, right? Yeah. When they call you, I remember calling uh, my line brother one day during the quarantine. He like, yeah, what's good, fam? What's good? Yeah, I'm, yeah, but what's good? I'm like, ain't nothing good, bro. <laughs> it's quarantine. It's quarantine. I can't do no shows. I don't have I can't. nothing. To tell. I just called you because I was, you know what I'm saying? Right. Just, what's up? What you on? You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. That's what we got to get back to, calling Thanks. people that we care about and that we love for no reason, But that's bro. a real thing one because one day you was here and you couldn't stay and... You probably didn't have a number at the time. And you hit Q, right? No, 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 it's real shit. Right? Because your shit be changing. Like, it's stupid shit. Just stop changing your fucking so number. you didn't have his number? No, he probably didn't have mine. My shit, my shit, you know. Okay. G14 to classify. Worst, worst one but, <laughs> the man, the man, the man said, man, I'm going to leave you these tickets. The Kevin Hart Show. Complete VIP. Love, right? Super love. Man, I forgot about the hangover. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that's love. That's love, bro. <laughs> he's like, I did that. Yeah. yeah. But, I showed like, you that but love. Then, but then he, he's called me and be like, bro, I want to talk to you about your marriage, right? I want to talk to you about relationships. I want, you know, it's like we've had these conversations. Real so, conversations. Yeah. So it's not, it's not, this is not no fake fly by night. Oh, I just nah, know him. Like, yeah, 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 come yeah, through. Yeah. Like, no, nah, this is a real conversation with a friend, with a brother who I love. And I've seen from the start to now, everything in between. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Uh, Q's always been our conduit. You know what I'm saying? Stop mm -hmm. shouting Q out, man. No, nah, but no, nah, Q, Q, Q's my brother too. Give shout outs, man. Stop shouting. Stop shouting. Say the bell, Q. You're right, you're right, you're right. Say the bell, Q. You're right, you're right. You're right, you're right. You're right. Got, I got you. You're awesome, man. Right. 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 You're awesome as fuck, right? You're right. awesome as fuck, right? You're right. right. amazing as fuck. Right. Fuck off. Damn, bro. Why you gotta be so dope? Yeah, right. Wait, I'm changing the whole script. Please. Is it okay to cry in front of your lady? I already know what you're gonna say, but. I, I mean, that's great that you brought it up. I definitely knew my lady was gonna be my wife hmm. the day I cried in front of her. And it was like, I tried to get out the house because I felt it brewing. It was Mother's yep. Day. Right. And I usually, you know, cry on, on Mother's Day right. for my mama, right? But I just didn't feel like crying in front of her because we weren't even cool like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Like, right. Wait, 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 what does that mean? Hold on. Oh, you we, just met her. It, we, no, it no, means it means that she, it means that he's not ready to be cool vulnerable. Like You're not. You weren't ready to be vulnerable to her. I, that, wasn't, that, I wasn't ready in well, that why, moment. Why not though? At the moment, here you go. Just because chill, yeah. man. <laughs> chill, man. I tried to do the low. I tried to do the low key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, because you know, man, who the hell want to cry in front of their old lady, Exactly. Man? Who the hell want to cry Thank in front of their lady? It's not something you intend to do. But what I will say is, um, I definitely started crying. And uh, who smell good? <laughs> like, oh, you smell good. Well, you smell like the red oaks in the, the in Big Bear Lake. Okay, all right. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. I, I will say that... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he like who smell good? <laughs> She's like who smell good? Right. <laughs> who, me? <laughs> so I remember this day because I'm trying to get out the house. I like this lady don't need to see me cry. I feel a breakdown coming. Let me just take a little drive, and she hit me with that, baby. What's wrong? Just like that, in that voice. Damn. <laughs> right as I'm in the garage, it's like damn near, baby. And I told her I was like, this is the moment in life where I'm supposed to fall off. And people supposed to forget about me. <sighs> and they supposed to be like, oh, man, you remember Cosign? Oof. And you won't let me fall off. Mm. And she heard that and was like, she like damn near shrugged it off. Like, of course not. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. wow. what? No, you know, you good. You got, I, I got you. And so Yeah that'd make me cry if you, I think I cry It's tough It's tough right now It's tough right now Let me Hey Because, because look, look Whatever relationship you in That's amazing But it ain't nothing like a relationship That's been battle tested hmm. You get through You get through some shit together Hey 
Man, because people want to give up on you. They want to leave you. They want to have you out here bogus. So when you got somebody that's going to ride for you. All right, here's the second part, though. Here's the second part of that, though. So you're saying vulnerability is strength. And look, at, look, 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 look at the maturity. Here's the second look part, the maturity. There you go. <laughs> so alter, alter that, though, right? You you got the person that's been riding for you. Y'all been rocking heavy. Y'all got y'all, y'all developed whatever that connection is, right? But now you're at the point where you realize that y'all have actually grown to a spot where one of y'all needs to let the other one go for them to win. Whether it's you or whether it's her, right? That's some ooh. That's so, so how do you manage that moment when, like you just said, somebody is battle tested, they've been riding for you, you know you got an established you know, situation with that person. How do you handle that moment when you have to say, but if you're going to go win, I need to let you go? Well, they may have to... Hey, now Here y'all trying to get to it. Buddy. Y'all getting to <laughs> it. This, this the corner. Well, I mean, this the corner. It, 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 it's interesting, right? And I don't know all the details of that situation. Mm-hmm. But if you're a man like myself, right? If I'm a man like you, I'm not a man like you. Well, that's what I mean by I'm, I'm a man like you. You're, you're alpha male, right? <laughs> alpha male, yes, yes. And you have taken all the responsibility of being the leader in your household. Right. If your woman ain't really rocking with your program as a leader and she don't really, she don't really, y'all don't see eye to eye, I mean, mm. how can y'all dwell? Right. Interesting. You right. know what I'm saying? How True. can you dwell? Which is why, you know, I am so spiritual and why I preach God and the Most High and y'all so much because that way as a man, you can take yourself out of it and let him lead the whole ship. So that and means, it, oh, so does that mean, does that mean like you take leadership you know responsibilities from her like she she leads the relationship at times you lead the relationship at times well as a every every relationship is a case by case scenario fact sure. right so depending on that man and what he looks for in a woman myself i do look for leadership skills in a woman hmm. because if there's areas in life where i'm weak It'd she be gotta great be strong. for you to be strong in yeah. these spaces. But see, that's yeah. why that's why I always preach the, the term teammates. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Because Partners. when one right. person I love that. And like, if I'm a scorer and you're a rebounder fan, why not let me shoot and you go clean up the glass? You know what and saying? we out here. That's it, bro. And we out here. You call your wife. You call, you call your girl fam? Dennis Rodman. <laughs> the thing about Dennis Rodman. The thing about it is, is some people don't necessarily is about to get. I don't know. Let's go. Gonna, Let's go. They're gonna try to splash me in here, but. Some people don't want to embrace their role. Hey. They don't know how to see if you got a team, right? Let's say if it's an NBA team, you got a point guard, you got a shooting guard, a small fort. No, so these women, these women said they got four different types of men on their team. They, they said they got a financial dude, they got a good dude, a dude in the room, they got a comforting <laughs> dude, emotional cry in front of them dude. They got <laughs> so you got your, your team, your black, team. Black, 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 I gotta play. We got a family. <laughs> she got a she got a four piece spicy. That's what she said. Facts. Every every woman agreed. Every woman agreed. Yeah. Every woman agreed. All right, so I'll take me back to the top because y'all just threw me into the fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take me to the top. I guess of this. my point is, you said we talking about the idea that you have to embrace your role to be a part of a team, and I agree with you, right? Like it's sometimes it's difficult really to embrace the role. Said it first, but that's true. But you have <laughs> to agree. you have to embrace the role. That you have in that particular relationship. And that role may be different in a different relationship, right? Mm -hmm. So we were just saying in general, like, when you know you have to actually let somebody go because they're going to be great without you. They need space to grow. They're going to be great without you. You stepping outside of their space so that they can go and do something. Can you manage that as a man? Can men deal with that? Can men deal with that kind of thing to say, you're better without me? When I think about my ex before I locked in with my lady right now. That one right there, like, man, I definitely wanted to marry her. I was sold out. She was, man, let me tell you something. She was bad. You know what I'm saying? She had it together. I'm like, I love you, good. I love you, uh-huh. right? But again, she wasn't really rocking with my plan. Mm, she was rocking important. with me. She rocked with me, but she wasn't rocking with my plan. Mm. And so I got a whole five to seven year layout of how I run. Like, babe, we, we going here. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's that takes action and a lifestyle. And again, if somebody doesn't want to tap in and you got to let them be great, you got to let them be great. Hey, Coach. You know what I mean? And that, that takes maturity to not stay in something that you go, yes. know is going to be toxic. Yes. It's going to yes. get toxic. If you know you're not supposed to be there, that's not your purpose. But you're staying in there for the wrong reasons. It's going to get more and more toxic. 
So let's 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 transition, man. So we've been talking about some dope yeah, I didn't shit. I know this was a relationship show. I no, no, not, not, at all, not at all, not at all, not at all, not at all. We had every topic today, man. Walked everything. in and some of the shit you said, bro, just just right in line with it. Okay. So okay. <laughs> it, it it makes it makes sense because your album, right, True Serum, it fits who y'all you heard are True today. Serum, right? True Serum, y'all. And actually, True everybody, 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 everybody pull platforms. your phone out. Everybody pull your phone out. Everybody in the room, pull your phone out. Real quick, we're going to force y'all to download. Everybody exactly. pull your phone out. <laughs> we're going to get these streams up to date. It's 2021. They might put a leg in the house before, <laughs> True, before we let y'all in the house. True Serum. T R U T H Serum. So you're going to sit next to me and not have your phone out. Pull your phone out. Cosign. K O. Download it. Tony got it. Tony got it. K O S I. Tony got it. My That's man. The, Tony got it. Right. You go. Let's I go. See one. I see you in the back. Is there another in the back? I need there, everyone. There this is, is not. A, we are right not there. playing. Is this is a, a real, real thing. One in the back. This, this is, is a real thing. Pull up the Pause. truth serum. Hey. Now, the reason, the reason, I, the reason I talked about that is because your album is who you are today, right? There has been a a huge growth process for you and I felt like this wasn't the cosign trying to make a hit mm. this was the cosign mm. getting his tears out on record mm. interesting right yeah. every part of you is in this right and if anyone has followed your story they will know it but I know you so I I'm more invested in the album but I thought it was dope as fuck how you did everything the way that you did it like for real for my real my brother my brother See, like, that was cold too What you just said Because When most people give an album Telling who they are They name it like Just say Vince Staples just dropped He named the album what? Vince Staples mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's an album about him Completely about him mm-hmm. You named yours True Serum It's a creative way to say Hey This is Cosign's album About Cosign mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Real shit mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because there's so much Power in truth There's so much power in it I promise you One of my favorite Verses In the Bible Is Galatians 4.16 Jesus wept Am I <laughs> No sir no, right. Do I therefore Become your enemy Because I Tell you the truth Right And truth is triggering Yes I don't know if you've oh, ever yeah. Talked yes. to somebody so Yes And gave them Some truth that they Weren't ready for Yes What is slap <laughs> Slap a drink on the table Flip a table over Truth is Delicio triggering Dumbo. Yeah But there's also Healing in truth as yes. well mm. And for me, with this music business, right? Think about my hits: ass, 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 Big Sean, Rihanna, Cake, 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 Nicki Minaj, My Anaconda, Don't. You know all these party songs, and I'm like, damn, like that's my legacy, right? Right. right. Is that the is that the whole thing? That's One what, time yeah. for the birthday, and don't get me wrong, right? That's a, that's some joints. That's, that's some joints. They, Somebody played that for a seven year old the other day, but anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> but at the same time, as a as a father. Right, as a father, and I'm thinking about legacy. My sons are going to get older, and they're going to want to know. All right, well, why weren't you there though? You know, like you was there, you was around, you was. But then, and so I'm going to have to answer that one day. Right. And so I think about moments, songs like Kings. I think about my entire catalog. Love, love Kings, Kings was dope, love Kings. Bro. You know what I'm saying? Was, Kings their, was their crazy. Names though. Are in the artwork. My sons' yeah. names are in the artwork. They're in the video. Big. So mm-hmm. that they can know, look, mm-hmm. son, daddy might not have been there every day, right? My son lives in Miami. I have another son in New York. Daddy might not have been there every day. But I promise you, you are my motivation. And that is proof in my artwork. Got y'all it. are there. And, and if y'all ever want to take this business up, take over the family business, you know, when I'm done, these copyrights, this is their copyrights. Got it. One you know thing, what I'm saying? One Got of the it. dopest things I saw you do from a non-musician standpoint, right, was the video you did when you popped up at, you call him Lil Dragon, right? Uh, your, your oldest son. Mm-hmm. When you popped up at his school and you had it where you rolled up and hit the classroom, bro, when he got up, and like ran to the doorway, like just was that ecstatic. Was, as yeah. a father, that's the most he amazing was, feeling ever. Dog. He was so incredible. He was. It took him a second to even realize it was really you. Like that was one of the dopest moments because one, like you said, it shows us one black fathers do exist. Do exist, bro. Right, but also it showed us to me. It showed me how important that is for the young kid, for that brother to see. Like, yo, I love my dad. Like, I love my dad. Like, I was super excited to see my dad. Some of us that didn't have fathers in their lives growing up, our fathers taught us exactly what not Not to to do. 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 
They taught yep. us exactly who not to be. But even still having a son in Miami, um, you know, I don't know how many fathers beat themselves up. I beat myself up, bro. Yeah. I've been there, I bro. beat myself been there. up. And a lot of times in my mind, I say to myself, he don't even love you like that because you're not there. So he don't even love you like that. And going into that moment, I'm thinking that he's going to be like, who is this? Who is he again? Mm, wow. You know what I mean? Because you, in your mind, you know, I don't know for anybody that's an actor in arts, you just, you magnify stuff so sure, much. Sure. Right? You know what I'm saying? Sure. And my kids are my, those are my motivation. You know what I'm saying? So like, I'm thinking like, yo, he ain't even going to rock with me. When that man saw me and ran to me like that, dead, dead, hey! <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's time like, to cry again. My, it's time to cry again. My father raised me. <laughs> I love you, little boy. My, <laughs> my father raised me. I ain't never ran into his arms like that. Is what I'm saying. Like my pops was a good dad, but he was like you said. He taught me real strict basics. It wasn't about that. So like just being able to show and express that kind of love, yeah. I thought was super dope. Yeah, a lot of times now. it's hard to tell who's happier, the child or the father, because you know what I'm saying. The way. Your child level you makes you feel, dog. That's just priceless. Well, Absolutely, well, I could definitely say that my first son <laughs> was in no way, shape, or form an accident. Shoot the club up! Shoot the club up! You went in uh, Drake out I went to the club with an agenda. <laughs> you know what I'm that was ahead of itinerary. <laughs> <laughs> Breeding. He's a breeder. He's a breeder. And, and it's crazy because after losing my mom, I promise you, like. I, I said to myself, and I used to say this to myself all the time, like, I can't wait to love somebody the way she loved me. Mm -hmm. I cannot wait to love somebody the way this lady loved me. And as soon as my son was born, like, to be able to feel your heart beating outside your body for the first time. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people are powered by different things. I'm powered by family and love. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So having yeah. Shorty, man, woo, and I got a daughter, Oh, it's, it gets different. Hey, man, shout out it to all different. the black fathers in the Ooh, building, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We got Don Ski over there, man. Don Ski, what up, baby? Have I you see, Enrique Poppy I see, on, right. on me. <laughs> <laughs> you heard that, Lisa? This all on him. I mean, it's I mean, all, all on, on him. I mean, on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we, we got it. We got it. We good. We good. What, what's next in line for you, dog? I know I know. True Service is fresh. I want to always be in rotation, man. What's next on the agenda? Because it don't have to be music. You are a man of many hats, and you telling everybody what it is right now, man. What's next for you? Uh, well, definitely my next project. I'm always working on that. I'm always working on myself as an artist. You know, I, I have a huge respect for Drake. Drake also left a lot of tickets for me when I when I was in Chicago that year, 2015. <laughs> I didn't even think Drake remember. Oh, so you got you got the 40th ticket. You ain't get the two. It don't matter. I'm in the game. I'm in the building. I'm in the Look. building. I was at uh, the shrine. The shrine was still open. I was yeah, at the shrine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Joe Russo. Man. Joe Drake, Russo. Look, Drake had he one time. Hard, though. <laughs> hey, the shrine, the shrine created a promontory. I was at the shrine all the time when I came back home. Dude, that was like a little cheers for me, right? Exactly, cheers. exactly. And I was sitting there scratching my head trying to figure it out. So... Uh, Greenweeds came up to me, right? Mr. He's like, Greenweeds. He like, Coach, uh, Drake here, man. I know you know him, right? So <laughs> you want to say what's up to him? Now, in this moment, I'm like, Drake don't remember me. You know what I'm saying? Right, so right, right. I didn't I didn't want to say it because I'm, I'm in Chicago, my chest out. I'm like, yeah, Drake. Oh, Drake here? <laughs> so am I, so Drake. 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 Come on, let me. Drake. Drake. <laughs> Drake. <laughs> I think I got a minute for him. That, <laughs> right. that man walked me over there past all of Chicago too, and I was just sitting there like, oh my god, I was sitting there like walking past certain people in line that I've been looking up to for years. Like, oh my god. <laughs> Sorry I'm getting in front of you tonight. Sorry. <laughs> pardon my pardon my back. Excuse me, excuse right. me. Pardon my greatness. Man, that Basically. man gave me ten tickets, man. Yeah, man. Nice. Ten Love. tickets. Rob sitting Love. there right at the concert, like, Coach, you got this. Like I those moments. Help me to get my confidence back, bro. Because okay. when the interns went they separate ways, bro, I was out here crushed. Mm. You know, what no, I'm it, it, it was a, it was a real thing for you, uh, mental health wise. Because we talk about mental health as men on this show, we a talk lot. about women's uh, mental important. health as well. Um, I remembered again having those conversations, talking to Q, uh, and talking to you. And again, you even talked about it on your podcast about how was that your cousin or your auntie? My cousin, your cousin, right? Mm -hmm. 
she was like, sorry, boy, you tripping. You know what I mean? And I want you to talk about that for a moment because a lot of people don't see that. A lot of people don't see that. Yeah, that's when, that's when <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not going to, I'm trying not to say Q name one more time. <laughs> but I never knew. I, 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 so, I, never I knew know. One time I was talking to Q like, my life is in shambles. He was like, you want to know why? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to know why? Because you not you don't want to be the greatest hype man. <laughs> <laughs> he said, you want to know why? Because while two was out there thinking about his future and setting himself up, you was having too much fun. Big Fact. fun. Fact. You Big was fun. having too much fun. And real I was talk, like, man. damn, yo. That's, gangster. That's a real friend, though. That's right? a real friend. That's true. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, you go out there and you out there living a dream and you taking it for granted. You taking advantage of it. You not taking it serious. And you don't realize that it can be going like this. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I always say some people got to learn the hard way. It was going like that. You know, and shout out to my family for coming out to L.A., packing my stuff up, putting my stuff in storage. You know what I'm saying? My auntie giving me the upstairs room mm -hmm. right. to really put it back together. And guess what? It's the best thing that ever right. happened yeah. to me, bro. Yeah. Because yeah. I came back home to Chicago and washed the Hollywood sauce off my body, fam. Right. Please do. Right. Right. Please do. You know what I'm saying? Please I turned do. back into Marcos. I got around people right. that don't even care about Cosign. Right. They happy that Marcos is home. Yeah, you the homie, right? They're they two different people. <laughs> hell yeah, you got, you got hell like six yeah. Yo, hell yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. I'm gonna say this because <laughs> we we gonna wrap it up, but I'm gonna say this about home. Hold on, bro. Y'all y'all just go. Keep up. Oh, you you got another question? No, nah, I really don't, man. But you really don't. don't? So why really the fuck? Why is you cutting cut me off in the middle though. of my question if you ain't no. got a question? We ain't gotta cut it off, man. We we here. Wait, man. But anyway, uh, Joe. You can even give me your top five Chicago oh, albums yeah, or yeah, your yeah. top five inspirational albums. I really Chicago. No, nah, it's got to be Chicago. I really Chicago. It's got to be Chicago. Chicago. Number Cruiser, one podcast Cruiser in Chicago. Crucial Conflict, Final Tick. Yep. We all um, had that one. Anything from Twister in Common. Okay. <laughs> That's not fair. Uh, you can't, they got like 12 <laughs> albums a because, piece. Because, because, no, no. Because You're like, just doing like, 12. Like, 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 chocolate. And, it, can, uh, like that was my shit. And can it, uh, you it, all, it all makes No, sense. but you got to name the actual album that's in the top five. It don't have to be in the order. Adrenaline Rush. Okay. Common. One Day It'll All Make Sense. Thank you. Kanye West. Um... I'm going to say College Dropout just because mm -hmm. that was out while I was graduating. Right. And I still stayed in school even though my favorite album was called College Dropout. Me too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my mama. And last album, uh, Lupe Fiasco, uh, Food and Liquor. Good yep. job. Yo, your list okay. sound exactly like mine. He clap it up for himself. Put me on the spot. No clap it up for himself. That's true because he got to work with all these people. Like He got, he got stake in the game. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. no, no. He mentioned Kanye, oh. right? So when you were out there working with Kanye in, in, in the farm fields, Right? Shout out to Kanye. Because right, you play saxophone, right? Shout out to Kanye. The, man, the man's a real musician. Like we're, we're not just hitting the MP. You know what I'm saying? What was that, what was that moment so like? So working with Kanye, so shout out to Ray Romulus from the Stereotypes. That's who called me to work on Kanye's album. And I got there, and this is you know me back in L.A. Uh, after coming back from Chicago and getting the Hollywood sauce rinsed off me. So now when I'm around Kanye... I'm, I'm making sure that I always have my saxophone on me. Because before I moved to LA, before I had any hits, I played saxophone on 6th and Madison in Maywood at JW James Memorial AME Church. Got it. <laughs> you know what I'm Got saying? It. So the real Marcos that's not trying to be cool actually is a saxophone player. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I have my horn on me, I'm making beats, I have my saxophone. Then Kanye had the idea for Sunday service. And i never forget, because I was like in the bathroom. I'm in the bathroom. <laughs> Doing number one And somebody started Beating on the door Like hey Kanye said come out here With saxophone And play on this record I'm like You went out there And was like I knew he was going to want me To be the band I knew he was going to want me You know what I'm saying Pause You're not walking out the bathroom Dick slanging Oh you want me He want me No we're not doing that We're not doing that all right, let, let's say you He's zipped it up. Let's, let's say you zipped it up first. <laughs> I, I pushed it out, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> pushed it out and got out of there. You know what I'm got on the saxophone, and yeah, you know, 
<laughs> all I keep seeing, all I keep seeing is that video with a white dude standing on top of the car talking about some do 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 do. What's that song? You know what I'm talking about? Is it Kenny G? Just sitting out there, just do Yeah, that's all I keep seeing. So yeah, no, it's, cra- it's crazy too, because I right. also I, I did watch my I did watch my It's crazy because. What, what I was what I was tweaking off of was as a producer I never leave the studio, hmm. so I miss being playing live music for people. Bro. As a producer, you're in there Got by it. yourself. It's lonely. There's no windows. It's crazy. So my first live performance with Ye was Coachella. Duh. Uh, yeah, you that was crazy. Saying? Like that was crazy, and it was crazy because it's just like. You know, everybody like, man, he got the MAGA hat on. You know what I'm saying? Yaden lost his mind. But as somebody from Chicago that lost their mama too, it was mm-hmm. like, I'm going to take him some scriptures. Mm-hmm. 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 I'm going to take him some scriptures. Mm-hmm. 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 You know what I'm saying? Yep. It was short lived. Uh, Co- Coachella was my one and only performance. <laughs> 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 In the Sunday service, man. I so got wait. him out of there after that. So but, I, you know, it's ha- a cool story. Speaking of the Hollywood sauce and speaking of Kanye. This brother just did something that is remarkably hard to understand. Mm-hmm. He sold tickets in Atlanta to an entire stadium. Football stadium. He walked in and he played an album that didn't exist. <laughs> and he stood there and watched people listen to all of the songs that didn't exist. <laughs> I got no hate for Kanye. How? Why? <laughs> I mean, you know, you. you uh, well, welcome to knowing Kanye. I West. mean, like, like, that man is a bro, black I don't, billionaire, bro. I don't even know how to fathom how he bro. came up with that moment. Like, is that bro. something that we planned, or he like bro. just came up that morning? Bro. No, bro. bro. Let me tell you something. Impromptu as fuck, right? There's no figuring out how he thinks. Yay, bro. Okay. And trust me, I've sat across from him. And gave it all I had, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Tried to be this man friend <laughs> with everything I had in my body. You know what I'm saying? Like, notice me, yay, notice you. It's funny too because his MD is my homie Phil, and I introduced him to Yay. You know what I'm saying? Interesting. And so imagine you introducing somebody to Yay. And then he go on to become his music director. Right. He on the Sunday service album. Right. He on the DMX album. Right. He toured the world with him. He played at his school. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and where you at? And I, you on you, you the number one podcast. You on the number one podcast, <laughs> number podcast, one podcast in Chicago. Chicago. Fuck what? you mean? Hey! Hey! Hey, hey man. I think it's time to wrap yeah. it up, man. I think, Incredible. but I think, I think it's um, again. I don't think it has to be said, but we say it anyway, man. Like, as just brothers, man, being from from Maywood, man. Like, I didn't even know that until later in our life that we was from the same neighborhood. We never crossed paths because you went to St. Joe's. That's a different conversation. <laughs> but um, mighty mighty proviso East, let them be known. But um, <laughs> Isaiah Thomas who drinks? Hello, Isaiah Thomas. Hello. Hey, 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 that's the last one y'all had. had. That's the last one y'all had. That was back in the 80s. Avantona. Trailblazers. St. Joe. Marlon London. What up, cousin? Marlon London. What up, cousin? You know what I mean? Don't do that. It's not a St. Joe's segment. It's not the St. Joe's segment. I do fuck with B. White, though, my brother. No, but Marlon, my cousin. Yeah, yeah, whatever. There you go. But to say to to say the obvious man to say the obvious man I think all the people in this room man that know you from the beginning the people that just met you through your career the people that just met you today man just in what you share with us man I think we got to share with you that we are very proud of you, bro. Absolutely. Like, you are doing Absolutely, something that man. all of us want to do, which is following your dream, and you're doing it your way, man. So we're going to give you your flowers. Real talk, bro. Real shit, man. Much love, bro. Much, much love. Man. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and turn up. You know what I mean? Have some drinks. You know, shake, shake some hand. Take a couple pictures. Uh, again, man, thank you. Uh, I love you. Thank y'all for this therapy session because <laughs> y'all don't know my life. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, y'all shit. don't know, y'all y'all don't know, know my story. life. I forgot about the BET encore. Mm-hmm. You did. You mentioned it. No, 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 no. Oh, but did we did, talk did, about that? No, no, we didn't because we, we were talking about him dealing with all but those women. You know, this is an all male podcast because y'all don't care. Y'all don't care. <laughs> y'all don't care about the show. I, I, look, I'm gonna be honest with you, Coach. No, I'm gonna be a hundred with you, bro. Coach, I'm gonna be a hundred. Women, 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 women love the podcast. Y'all don't care about my show. But women, women, women love our show, though. I haven't watched. I haven't watched BT since 2000 since they sold the Viacom. That's number one. 
Got it, got it. Unfortunately, that show is on, on BT. That's and fair. I just, I, <laughs> man, I have a hard time watching TV where I know women are going to be arguing with other black women about random shit. I just, I That's struggle fair. to watch that. That's fair. But I'm happy for the success. It's all over the place. People love the show. People love it. What so is that I album, what the the album going to sound like? How we, how we, where we man, at with that? I think, I think the world is going to be shocked. Okay. Right, because after the first episode, I don't know if y'all are watching BT presents the encore, uh, but it's on every Wednesday night. New yeah. episode coming on this Wednesday, but what's um, time, what's time? ah, it depends on what city you in. I yep. think Yo, Chicago yeah, is nine o'clock. Look that shit up. Encore BT. Encore BT. <laughs> Look it up. But um, I remember after the first couple episodes, people was just like, "There's no way. There's no work. way they're yeah. gonna complete a project. There's no way." Yeah, you know it just I mean? seemed weird. It seems so random. And we, I can, I can absolutely guarantee you that there is it's a, a project. project. That's what's okay. up. You know what I'm saying? It's, That's it's, what's up. It's on my phone right now. And it's you super. Oh, we're gonna get a nah, 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 nah. Off mic, off mic, off mic, off mic. We do, we do a secret listening thing. No, no, I think it's a dope idea, man. I mean, because they all, they are all dope in their own right. You know what I'm saying? They're legends. I mean, we grew up on Total Seven O Two Black. 3LW, Cherish, Nivea, yeah. you know, Danny Kane. Room, you know what I'm saying? Clap back to them sisters, man. man. Real talk. Oh my God. Why are you attacking? Why are you? Why are you, you attacking me? That was the. That was my highlight. Why are you attacking me? So y'all didn't see the clip. Oh. <laughs> Shorty, oh. One of the oh yeah, I saw this all on Instagram. It was Yo, all on Instagram. My homies the other day. It was all on Instagram. Answer the phone and said, "Why are you, you attacking me?" <laughs> right. <laughs> Yo, I love right. Chicago, but I hate Chicago. Yeah, yeah. Because Bro. I call my partner that man said, you "Why are you <laughs> attacking me?" Chicago, good. they gonna give you the smoke, dog. Hey, Here hey, you. man, look, it's the corner convo, man. Episode fifty-seven. We out. Love y'all. Wait, everybody. wait. What we doing? You not gonna drop the last song? The last song? Bro, we still trying to get signed. He ain't sent us no paperwork or nothing yet. Oh, okay. Well, fuck it now. All right. Well, Don't miss your beat now. Right. I am, like, I this am is the opportunity. For, write your life. All right. Okay. Song, okay, okay. 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 Brothers are supposed to sing. I exactly. Sing. Now. sing. I started you got to give it a little bit more gas. Right give it a little bit more gas. Oh, nope, too much gas. <laughs> to be more clever. I okay, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. And sweet so you. I don't think I'm going to see that in the movie, though. And just like a baby. Coach, you're supposed to be singing. Oh, <laughs> sing, dog. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, you got to do it. 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 And I. This is a funny thing I've ever heard. And I. Get it right. <laughs> All right, look, look. It's, 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 it's quiet. It's quiet time. Uh, Everybody. No one Here you go. Can we talk for a minute? For a minute. Girl, I want to know your name. Can we talk? There it's might be a slot for y'all on Gourmet Ratchet Records. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! There might. I'm, let's talk about it. Might be I'm going to book myself. What are you talking about? Okay? Pick up the phone. We're there. What are you talking about? I'm, I'm liking what I'm hearing, fellas. I heard some tone. Gourmet Ratchet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some tone in there. Strong hey, piece hey, tenor. Look. Come with piece of tenor. <laughs> <laughs> all of us, you <laughs> heard a strong tenor cut through. Remember I sent you some shit? You was like, no bueno. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was oh, like, I, 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 like in my mind. That, that was like my best shit, right? Like, he said, no, no way. Do it. Yeah. He said, nah. no way. No. I'll pass. No I'll way. pass. Hey, there's a there's a Google Drive link of all my COVID beats sitting in his email right now. He ain't open yet. I guarantee you. <laughs> hey, look, man. Look, it's, it's, it's been a blast. It's been a it's, blast, it's, bro. It's real talk, man. Appreciate you so long. much, man. Much love clap it up, 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 clap it up. This is episode 57, number one podcast in yo, Chicago. We here, we here every month, man. 16th Street Bar. We are going bar. national. Things are up. Things are moving. And I just thank you again, brother. Let's, let's have some drinks. Let's talk some shit. He shoot. He shoot. He scores. B dot in the building. B dot. B dot. Be on the corner. Just
Four guys, four mics, four perspectives No matter how you start your week, it's time to check in We on the corner, yeah We on the corner, yeah Four mics, four perspectives No matter how you start your week, it's time to check in